What is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined remotely by a few vaguely familiar faces because it's been a while. Start at the top. Go clockwise. Go for it. Or not. Uh, I'm Mike. <laughs> All right, I'm and I'm Greg. It's not, it's not clockwise in my thing. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Also, I was on mute. I had to unmute. All right. So, uh, we apparently, uh, I, I hope Greg is drinking a uh, a white Russian because tell me he doesn't look like the dude right now. So, all right. So, welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Today, we are happy to be bringing y'all Tokyo Tsukiji Market, designed by Jordan Draper and published by Jordan Draper Games. And uh, Jordan was kind enough to send us a review copy of this and i believe jordan is in chat with us currently over in norway so appreciate you hanging out tonight jordan and staying up uh as late as you are over there uh before we get started big thanks to all the patrons who help support the show without them this ain't happening if you guys enjoy the stream give it a thumb subscribe go to pledgehc.com to support the show over there all right so sukiji market uh i had been told that we needed to play this in advance of before we did the Golden Elephant Award uh, finalists because this was a lot of people's best game of the year last year. So here we are busting this out. Um, yeah, I think we all enjoyed it. If you are familiar with the game Container, this definitely feels like a reimagining of that game and then some. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, so I'm totally uh, looking forward to this. So I am going to leave the fellas' cameras up. I'm going to take my camera down, however, and take the chat down for the teach. I'm going to be doing a full teach for the markets that we have in play. I am not going to teach the markets that aren't in play. Uh, the rule book uh, is there for you guys for all of those. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm ready. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Always. All right, ready. cool. And hopefully everybody at home is ready. So let's go ahead and get into Tokyo Tsukiji Market. All right. Let me throw on the old spectacles. All right, here we go. Tokyo Tsukiji Market. You are a fishing company competing in an open economy, trying to gain more prestige fishing resources in yen than your opponents. Utilize the utilizing a completely player-driven economy and shared market system, only the wisest and toughest fishers will rise to the occasion. All right, so what is it you guys are looking at out here? Well, first off, we'll talk about this, the common stuff, which is all through the middle of the board out here. First off, we have a total of five fish markets. Now, you can make an argument that crabs aren't fish, but whatever, you get the idea. Creature markets, if you will. So there are five creature markets in our game. I would say they are random. They are not. We have the macro market. We have the eel market. We have the octopus market, the spider crab market and the salmon market. In addition to that, every game will have a macro market and, or the macro market and every game will also have the ship market up here to be able to purchase additional ships. In addition to those, we have three other external markets. We have the aquarium, we have the auction, because obviously, and the rental market as well. Then we have the spider crab uh, bag, spider crab, spider crab does whatever a spider anyway so spider crab bag but you guys see that so there we go that's everything that is out there in the common area and then off camera we have the bank with various denominations of yen in addition to that every player has a harbor board in front of them or at least near where their pictures are as it were now on each player's harbor board there are a number of different things they have each individual's market for pricing their catches. And these range from 100 yen up to 900 yen. And then there is a set your own price above 900 yen spot as well. In addition to that, there are spots for exactly four licenses to be able to go fishing for various types of sea creatures over here. So there's a total of four license spots. In addition to that, every player starts with a, uh, a one-space ship or a one-container 
uh, spot ship or one barrel size ship as well. Then there are two other additional spots that can be unlocked within their harbor that uh, unlocking this one costs 500, this one costs 500, but they have to be unlocked from the first, or the one first, then the two. In addition to that, every player starts with 2,000 yen. So that right there is everything that you're looking at. Now, I did mention that the game comes with additional fish markets. So those are the ones that we have chosen not to have in play tonight. And then there are other additional external markets as well. All right. And with all of those, the associated bits and little uh, minis and, and wooden pieces that go with those. So those are all out of play for us tonight. All right, so let's talk about now an overview of what it is we're trying to do or what we're trying to do in the game. Well, first and foremost, what we're doing is each player is going to be competing to have the most lucrative portfolio at the end of the game. It's an economic, it's a pure economic game. However, when I say portfolio, instead of shares of stock or anything like that, it's cash on hand in addition to whatever their resources are worth, whether it's salmon, spider crabs, mackerel, et cetera, et cetera. So at the end of the game, we will cash out all of our catches, all of our uh, acquired resources, and whoever has the most yen wins, all right? So that's what we're going to be try and be doing via fishing and manipulating these markets out there. But how do you actually play Tokyo Tsukiji Market? Well, before we talk about how you play, I think we ought to talk about how the game ends, how the game end triggers. And this is a little bit uh, tricky with this. So the obvious one is if a player at the beginning of their turn has a total of 5,000 yen in front of them and they are not, they do not have the fewest resource, uh, amount of resource value, then the, that will trigger the end of the game. Or conversely, if they have at least a 50 resource value and they do not have the least amount of money. So in other words, you can have the second most, the most, or the third most in a four player game of one of those two and you have to have at least 50 or 5,000 respectively that will trigger the end of the game. However, if you have the least of one of those and you hit the other threshold, the game will continue. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, so that is how the game end is triggered, but how do you actually play Tokyo Tsukiji Market? Well, the game takes place over an indeterminate number of rounds. We will randomly determine who the first player is. We will give them the uh, heavy cardboard challenge coin to signify that. And then on their turn, they're going to take exactly two actions. After they have taken two actions, play then passes clockwise to the next player, take two actions, two actions, two actions, rinse and repeat all the way around until the end of the game is triggered. When the end of the game is triggered, whichever tr uh, player triggers it, since we check that at the beginning of each player's turn, then they finish their turn, then every, addition, or every other player takes one additional turn, and then we count to see who ended up winning the game at that point. All right, so as I said, on your turn, you're going to be able to take exactly two actions on your turn. Now, they can be any combination of these actions and you can do them repeatedly the same action. But let me go ahead and go over what the three available actions are uh, to choose from when you take your two actions. So the first option is fishing, the second option is purchases, and the third action is to visit a market, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about fishing first and foremost. So again, on your turn, you can take exactly two actions, any mix of fishing, purchases, or markets. So the fishing action. Within the fishing action, there are three options that you can take. So we're gonna take a look at my player board for this one right here. I have one ship currently, all right? A, a value one, call it, or a one holding space ship. On your turn, if, you, if I say as one of my actions, I'm going to go fishing. Within that fishing, there are three things that I can do. The first one is really simple. If you have a ship in dock in your harbor, you can undock. What does that mean? You go out to sea. There you go. That's one option. Easy enough. Boom, done. The second option is if you are at sea and you wish to come back 
to be able to sell your catch, provided you have caught something already. You then can go from there to there to dock. That's two of the three options. Very, very simple. However, as an action, you go out to sea. That's fishing. As a second action, I can now say I wish to actually fish, which is the main action that we're going to be taking during the game. So fishing says, if you have a license, you can then fish. Well, let's go ahead and talk about a, a, how you go about the action of fishing. First off, as I mentioned earlier, you have a space on your player board for exactly four different licenses. You can only fish for the type of fish that you have a license for. Whenever a ship goes out to sea and then says it's going to fish as a separate action, when it fishes, we're going to actually put the boat onto that license. And the reason for that is each license gives permission to a single ship to fish a single barrel of whatever that is. So in this case, if I only have a mackerel license, I say, hey, I'm going to fish. I'm going to put the fish, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna put the boat onto the mackerel license because that's what I'm allowed to fish. And now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to grab one barrel of mackerel and throw it on my ship. Now it does not matter even if I had one of these larger ships over here that has three spots on it, and if that was the one that was to come over here and fish for mackerel, it's still a single barrel in a single fishing action. Does that make sense? All right. Now, I can yeah. do that three separate times as three separate actions to be able to fill up my ship. However, on a given fishing action, one barrel per ship. Now, the reason we put our ships onto the licenses themselves is because that license gives permission to one ship to fish for that type of fish. So if in a subsequent action, I'll talk about how this goes about later, I acquired a second mackerel license. What that does is that allows a separate ship to then be able to grab one barrel of mackerel if I take the fishing action. What that does not do is even if this, fit, this boat wasn't there, even though I have two mackerel licenses, that does not mean that I can then fish for two barrels. On a single fishing action, each ship can have add one barrel of the type of license that it is on. So if on a subsequent action, maybe I had, let's say, an octopus license, a given ship can only ever have a single type of fish on it regardless of its size until it returns to the harbor. So at any given time, I can only ever have one type of fish on a given boat. So in other words, this is now a mackerel boat. When this boat comes back into harbor and it offloads its catch, it then can later on become an octopus boat, et cetera, et cetera. But at no point, at any point in the game, will any ship, with one exception, the barge, will a ship ever have multiple barrels on it of different types of fish. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, good. Yes. I, I'll yep. take that as a yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and rehash that real quick. As an action, you can undock a ship, or if ship already has fish on it, you can then dock that ship. And I'll talk about that here a little bit more in detail. Or as an action, you can fish. Now, every time you take a fishing action, every individual ship that you own is allowed to take a individual fishing action. So for instance, on my turn, I say, as one of my actions, I'm going to fish. So this ship is already at sea. So I say, hey, he's going to become a mackerel boat, so I'm going to go ahead and add one barrel of mackerel onto that ship, and then this ship will go ahead and undock and go out to sea. That is one action of fishing. On a subsequent, as maybe my second action, I then say, hey, I'm going to take another fishing action, and on my turn, I'm going to make this also a mackerel ship. So then I'm going to add one barrel there, and then... If I wish, I can either bring this boat back into harbor or I can add another barrel onto it, like so. 
However, you notice I only have one space in my harbor and I have multiple ships. That's okay because all that does is prevent you from having multiple ships in port at the same time. If you don't want that problem, so let's say on a subsequent action, on a subsequent turn, I wish to be able to bring both of these boats into my harbor. To be able to do so, I must unlock one of the spaces. And again, you have to unlock these, the one space first, then the two space. So at any point on a turn, I could pay 500 yen, like so, back to the bank, and I can unlock that, and now, when I say I'm going to take a fishing action, I can go ahead and dock both ships at the same time. However, if I didn't want to do that, what I could do is in lieu of that, I could say, hey, I'm going to take another fishing action on my turn and the larger boat is going to go ahead and fish there and the smaller boat is going to go ahead and come into port like so. That makes sense? Yep. All right. Yep. yep. Whenever a ship comes back into port and it has barrels of fish on it, the next step that's going to happen is all of those barrels are now going to come into your market to be able to be sold. So if you're familiar with the game container, I will not be able to sell the fish that are here in, uh, I will not be able to buy the uh, fish that I'm putting up in my market, but all the other players will be able to. So I can set the price for this mackerel at anywhere from 100 to, well, whatever it is I want to set it at. But let's say for argument's sake, I go ahead and set that for 200 yen. On one of their turns, they may be able to purchase this. All right. So, but notice I now have freed up that mackerel license. So if I had another ship, they could then join and fish for mackerel. But on a subsequent turn, let's say it's now gone back around and now it's my turn again. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check, have I won, have I triggered the end of the game? If the answer is no, the first thing that's going to happen is any fish that you have at the top part of your market, it was fresh. It's now not fresh. It's now degraded. So that will drop down to the bottom half of the market. But uh, as an action, I say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and fish. When you say that, each ship can take a single action. So this guy is going to come out to sea. This guy then chooses to come down into port like so. However, whenever you take a fishing action, you are allowed to manipulate the price of any existing barrels of fish that are in your market. Because at the beginning of my next turn, any degraded fish now just go away if nobody bought it. So that would be, well, a Travisham mockery. That would be terrible. So let's say, you know what, this degraded fish, we're going to go ahead and move the price to 100 for that. But then I have all three of these barrels, and let's say I price that one at 100, I price that one at 100, and I price that one at 200. There you go. That now has freed up that macro license there, and boom, done. Any questions about the fishing action? Nope. Nope. All right. So that is one of the three actions that you can take on your turn. So let's say now it now comes back around and maybe it's my turn again. The second available action that I can take on my turn is what's called a purchasing action. Now a purchasing action is as simple as, as an action, I can visit any and all in the same action of my opponent's markets. So I can pay them for their various types of fish that they have priced in their various markets. So I can say, hey, you know what? Hey, Mike, I'm gonna go ahead and give you 300 yen there for your eel. This barrel immediately goes back into the supply and we're gonna grab our little tweezers because these are tiny little guys. And that means I now have one eel in my supply. I bought that for 300. Does that make sense? All right, because he yep. had it for 300 there. As part yep. of the same action, I can say, hey, you know what, Greg? I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna give you 200, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab your mackerel. So your mackerel will go there, then I will grab a mackerel, and that will come over here. Now, I could spend 400 to be able to grab a salmon as well, if I wish, but let's say I just choose to do that Boom, done. That is the purchasing action. Any questions on that? No. Nope. All right. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through this. However, 
The third and final action that we can take on our turn is actually what's called the market action. And what that means is you can visit any of the nine markets in a four player game, any of the nine markets that are available here in the center of the board. Now, I think the easiest thing, the way to explain this is I'm going to talk about these in generalities. And then before we get started, I will talk about each individual market themselves. So on your turn, let's say it's my turn again, as uh, one of my actions or possibly both of my actions, I say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come out here to a market. Now, if you take a look at one of the market boards, which there are nine, there are eight across there, and then the ship one up top. Taking a look over here at the mackerel uh, market, on the left-hand side, you see that it has a 1A. What that means is that costs one action to go and interact with that market in any way that is allowed and as much as is allowed, okay? Whereas the eel market also has one action, and you notice down here the auction one, one action. However, you see the aquarium requires two actions, and you're allowed two actions on a given turn, so that would be your entire turn. But you also notice that these two over here, the rentals and the salmon uh, market, only cost yen, meaning you can pay cash, but it doesn't cost an action to interact with those markets. However, the odd duck over here is the octopus market. The octopus market says you can either pay 200 yen or it will cost you both of your actions, or it would cost you a takoyaki, which are these little guys over here, which are actually octopus balls. But we'll get into that a little bit more in detail a little bit later. So on your turn, you again, you can go fishing, and when you go fishing, you can undock, you can dock, or you can fish. For every individual ship can do one of those three things, or as an action, you can go and purchase there in the markets that the players have, or you can uh, uh, visit one of the individual markets. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the individual markets themselves, okay? Mackerel is going to be in every single one of the games. So when you go fishing, you collect barrels. When you come to port, you then put those barrels up for sale in your market over here. When another player then chooses to purchase these barrels, the barrels will then go back into the supply and they will actually choose one of the fish. They're all the same. A mackerel is a mackerel, right? A squid is a squid, an octopus is an octopus, a salmon is a salmon for the most part. All right, so that's the actual mechanism for that. However, when you go to a market, you are allowed to interact with the market as much and in any way that is allowed. So for instance, a, when I go to the macro market, every one of these markets for, that have fish on it, you're allowed to buy licenses. All right, This is how you're going to purchase these extra licenses to either be able to fish multiple times or with different boats the same type of fish or to be able to acquire different types because again we all start with one mackerel. Normally you are allowed to purchase as many licenses as you want up to the amount of money that you have. So mackerels cost 100, octopus cost 300, salmon 400, eel or 500, and spider crab, spider crab, spider crab, are 800. All right. Normally, you can buy multiples. However, at the macro market, you are only ever in a single visit to the actual market, you are only allowed to buy one license at a time, all right? And then, in addition to that, when you visit the market, you then, this is an, uh, this, these are rule breakers that apply to all the various markets. When you go to the macro market, you are allowed to take barrels that you have here on your board, whether they are fresh or whether they are degraded, and you can sell any mix of mackerel and barrels for a total of, for every two things that you turn in, be it some mix of barrels or mackerel itself, and get 100 yen. So I would just turn it in, get 100 yen. So as it is, let's say I choose to get rid of those three and that mackerel because I'm worried nobody's going to buy it. If I turn in those four things, I would get 200 yen from the bank. Does that make sense? Yep. All yep. right. Yep. 
Also, I should point out that at the bottom of the macro board and at all of these boards, there will be some sort of resource value. Because again, one of the triggers at the end of the game is having 50 resource value in some sort of li uh, live or some sort of animal, right? So each macro is going to be worth one resource. So as it is over here right now, depending on there, that macro is going to be worth one resource point for me. That makes sense? Good, we're moving on. So that is the macro market. Whenever you come and visit the eel market, the eel market, whenever somebody catches eel, so they have to have an eel license to be able to, whenever they actually catch an eel, meaning they say they're going to fish, it's always an automatic, and they get a barrel on their boat. So let's say Mike went ahead, oh, that was a disaster. Let's say there, and maybe on a previous turn, Mike had an eel license. Whenever that happens, this little marker is going to go up one step, as you can see, whenever you catch an eel, okay? So he'll put it up for auction up here, or he'll put it up for sale over here, and maybe I already have some, and let's say maybe I had another eel as well. So as an action on my turn, it cost me one action. Each eel is going to be worth two resource points, each macro is worth one. So as you can see, I have five resource points worth, which is 10% of one of the in-game triggers. But when I go to the eel market, at wherever this marker is, is the value of each eel times 100. So in other words, that is going to be worth 900 yen per eel. So when I come to this market, spending one of my actions, I can sell any amount of eel that I wish to sell. Let's say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sell both of these eels back to the market. So I sell that one and I sell this one. That will get me 900 uh, yen each for a total of 1,800. But you'll notice that it says whenever you come to the eel market, it drops two per eel sold. So in other words, from nine, that'll drop all the way to five for the two eel I sold. I will have gotten 1,800 yen, that's a fair amount of money, but I have now kind of tanked the value of eel. There are other terms that, or other places where you can sell eel. However, it does not affect the price of the eel unless you go to the eel market and sell eel just like how I just showed. If when we get to the auction, if I sell eel over here, it does not affect the price of the eel market. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any questions on that? All right, cool. So there we go. We're done with the eel market. Let's go ahead and talk about the octopus market. Is it octopi or octopus for multiple? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, moving on. So the octopus market, again, it costs 200 yen or two actions or a takoyaki. All right, and I'll talk about those here in a little bit. When you come to the octopus market, each octopus that you have in your supply, again, somebody will have had to have fished for a barrel. There, you will have had to have bought the barrel. When you be, buy, buy the, eh, when you buy the barrel, the barrel goes back and you get an octopus, like so. So on my turn, maybe I come over to the octopus yard, uh, market. Each octopus is going to be worth three resource points. So that's pretty good, okay. However, when I come to the octopus market, not only can I buy the license as normal or multiple licenses if I choose, I also should point out that you have four spaces on your board. If ever do you, if you want, let's say I want to buy two more octopus uh, uh, licenses, then I can buy them for a total of 600, 300 apiece there, but now I don't have room, so I can then choose to freely give up one license like so to then be able to fill that spot. So you can always give up licenses, but you can only ever have four at a time. Moving on. When you go, in addition to buying licenses, when you go to the octopus market, you can trade in octopus for takoyaki. The reason you might want to do that is because an octopus is worth three resources. A takoyaki here is worth five resource points right there, which is better. One octopus gets you actually three takoyaki over here, okay? So I would then give back the octopus and I have three takoyaki. You might be asking yourself, self, well, if one octopus is worth three and each takoyaki is worth five, why wouldn't I trade in a three octopus for a 15 takoyaki? Well, that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked. The reason for that is because 
you're not getting it for takoyaki for your supply. No, no. What you're doing is you're now going to put it under your board for other players to purchase it. So when I interact with that, as soon as I get the takoyaki, I now need to set a price for those takoyaki. Now, I can, if I wish, go ahead and do something along the lines of, say, that. Now, obviously, somebody's going to buy the 500 before the 600, 600 before the 800. Maybe, maybe you priced it poorly. I don't know. But here's the cool thing. Octopus balls, i.e. the takoyaki, never degrade. So these will never drop down. Because remember, at the beginning of your turn, you not only check to see if you've triggered the end of the game between your money and your resources, but then everything is going to degrade. And if, it deg if it's already down here and it degrades again, it just gets lost. Takoyaki never degrades. So there we go. So that's one advantage for the octopus. Does that make sense? Any questions on the octopus? Nope. nope. Or if you prefer octopods or octopi or octopuses, apparently. So, all right, cool. <laughs> we're going to skip the spider crab for right now, and we're going to go ahead and move on over to the salmon. All right, so the salmon, now, this is important. You see this up here in the top right-hand corner. A salmon license allows you to have one salmon barrel per boat. I don't care what size it is. And remember, you can never ever have multiple types of fish on the same boat, with one exception, which we will talk about a little bit later. So it kind of behooves you to do it maybe with a one value boat, okay? Because when you put a salmon up for sale, let's say there at 400, like so, when you do so, it, when it's purchased, if it is fresh, it will actually, they will get a salmon that it has the little F on it that you can roughly, I think, see right there. However, if it is degraded, then the value of that resource is going to be worth four. It can never be worth anything else. It's just four. Now, the reason you might want the fresh salmon, because fresh is always better, I mean, by default, right? However, uh, with the salmon, it is all the salmon, all the resources total that the player own in the game. Not included in the market, but that we have. That is what each fresh salmon is worth. So if it's on the fresh side and we have a total of eight salmon between us, each fresh salmon is worth eight resources. If it's a four salmon, it's worth, wait for it, Four, okay? All right. Oh, apparently, uh, let, me, let me correct one thing here on the eel price market. The price moves up when the ship docks and the barrel or barrels are put up for sale in your harbor. Oh. So this goes up one when it hits here. All right, so I'll double back on that once we actually finish with everything else. So any question though on the salmon? So as you can see, if it's fresh, it's worth the number that are owned by the players. If it's not fresh, it's worth four. Pretty straightforward, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so that is all of the fish markets except for the spider crabs. Spider crabs are a bit odd in that spider crabs, when they come back to port, if a player has two barrels, there will be an auction for a spider crab. If there is one barrel that comes back to auction, it's just lost. So in other words, you better come back to port with at least two barrels. And for every multiple of two barrels, in other words, if I had one of these four or the four size ship, a four size ship, and that was all spider crab, and it was full, then that would be two individual auctions. So here's how this would work. Inside this bag, there are a total of 10 different spider crabs, and these are terrifying looking in the best way possible, all right? So these spider crabs, as you can see, have values four, six, or eight. There are four fours, there are four sixes, and there are two eights. So we will randomly draw one out, and let's say I drew a six like that. All right, somebody, let's say uh, Greg had brought back two barrels 
Um, and so that was the spider crab. We're then going to have a blind bid auction. Now we're playing with open money, so as you, everybody will be able to see our money. And what we're going to do instead, uh, since obviously everybody's remote, is we're going to type in some sort of number into our phones and show it simultaneously like so, all right? Whoever had, and now if Greg is the one that came in, he still can take part in the auction. He is just one of the people that is trying to win the auction for this spider crab. The value of the spider crab is always going to be whatever the number is plus 400. Okay, so that means it's either going to be 800, 1,000, or 1,200 yen, its value. Okay, the number of resource points it's worth is whatever number is printed on there. So the auction is a blind bid. Obviously, you can only ever bid whatever you have in front of you. And then what, whoever is the highest bidder pays that. Uh, and then from there, they take the spider crab. Easy enough, okay? Any questions on that bad boy? Nope. nope. When nope. you go to the spider crab market now, you can sell it for the yen price, which is whatever it is, plus 400, as I mentioned. So in this case, this one would be worth 1,000 there, okay? Uh, and I should also point out, even though Greg is the one that caught this, the money is not paid in the blind bid to Greg. It is paid to the bank, okay? All right. So that is all of the fish markets. Any questions on any of those other than the one thing that I will clarify about the eel here at the end? Okay, good. Moving on. Let's go and talk about the ship market. Now, the mackerel and the ship market will be in every single game. This is set up for a four-player game. I also want to clarify something since I know some people have had some questions. Regardless of the number of players, there will be one barge, which is the six value. There will be one four-value ship, regardless of the number of players. And then there will be some number of three, two, and one barrel-holding ships for, uh, during setup. So the four-barrel ship actually should just say one, period. All right. When you go to this uh, market, it costs one action. It costs 500 yen per slot. So this one costs 500, that one costs 1,000, that one costs 1,500, that one costs 2,000. However, the barge is a bit of an odd duck. The barge just costs 1,000 even though it has six slots. Now, you can never purchase the barge until this slot has been opened up because this slot allows you either two boats on it, as you can see there, or a spot for the barge. And that can ch uh, change depending on who's in port, but whenever the barge is here in port, then it takes up both of those slots, all right? Now, what makes the barge, all of these are pretty straightforward. They're just regular ships with more slots. Whenever these get purchased, there must be a spot in your harbor currently available. So if these guys are out at sea and I purchase this one, it can go there, it can go there, whatever. And then as a fishing action, it would go out to sea, et cetera, et cetera. A barge, however, or the barge, I should say, never fishes, but it's basically a repository for any and all catch that you have. So in other words, if this guy is an octopus boat and this guy is a mackerel boat, as soon as I go fishing and the barrels go onto it, I can then offload it as long as this barrel is at sea with me. I can then just offload anything and everything that I catch onto the barge. And then the barge can come back in. Again, that will have to have been opened. And then when it comes in as one of my fishing actions, it then I would price all of my fish. So this is the only boat that can have multiple different types of fish on it at any given time, but it doesn't fish itself. Barrels can freely move from your ships onto the barge when you have the barge at sea. If the barge is in port, these guys make catches. Well, this guy can't because he's important there at sea. But once he moves out to sea, even previously fished barrels that you have on here can then immediately go on to the barge. Any questions about the ship or and or the barge action or the barge uh, ship itself? Okay, good. Uh -huh. Moving on. All right. So the next one is the aquarium. I think this one's pretty straightforward. It takes two actions to go into the aquarium. When you go into the aquarium, you can fill 
and basically donate or sell to the aquarium any of those shaped fishes and you will get per fish that you actually supply up to the limit that the aquarium has. So for instance, on my turn, let's say I have an eel and a mackerel. On my turn, I say I'm gonna go ahead and go there. I would place the one eel there, I would get 600 yen for it, and I can place one of the four available mackerel on there for a total of 300, so I get 900 bu or 900 yen for that. However, on a subsequent turn, whether it's me or one of the other players, if they choose to go to the aquarium, the eel, they, they have their limited eel for the entire game. They have no need for eels, so nobody can then sell eel to the aquarium, so that's basically blocked off, but they can sell up to three more mackerel and whatever. Obviously, the fugu and the red snapper are not, and the squid are not in our game, nor is the tuna, but you get the idea. Obviously, only what's available is what's available. Any questions about the aquarium? No. Nope. Okay, nope. cool, moving on. The next one is the auction. Now the auction, this is going to be the thing that is most reminiscent to the game container, if you are familiar with it. On your turn, you can put down whatever number amount of resources and the resource value in resource number. So let me go ahead and give an example. So this eel currently is worth five resources per this where this marker is. So if I were to put this eel out there, I would have to put it into that marker right there. I could not put it into two plus, even though it's technically higher than two. Once you hit that threshold, you have to go into that appropriate marker. So I could either do that, I could do something like that, I could put both of those in there, and you know what? Let's say I had a salmon. Well, that's going to be worth five, nine, that's 10. Well, when I do that, they would have to go into here. When I do so, I have to immediately pay to the bank 500 yen, whatever that number is at the bottom. Because now the other players in a once around auction starting to the left of the active player. So if I'm the one that did this, it cost me one action to go there. And if maybe I did just this and I kept the macro behind, then that would be worth nine resource value. I would have only had to have paid 300. Starting with Mike, he would have to do a once around auction. So he would bid for that some amount of money. So let's say he says, I think that's worth 400. Greg says, I think that's worth 500. Ariel says, I pass. Okay, well, the current highest bid is going to be 500 here. So in other words, Greg then would get his resources there and he would pay me the 500 because it was my auction. However, this is subsidized. Whatever the amount the winning bid is, that is matched by the bank. So not only would Greg pay me 500, the bank would pay me a matching 500. So you're actually making double whatever you actually sell for, subsidized from the bank. Does that make sense? Yep. All right? Yep. Cool. All right. Oh, and I misspoke, by the way, I was wrong. If, uh, regarding the spider crab, if another player wins, they pay the player. If Greg wins, in our example earlier, he would pay the bank. I misspoke on that, I apologize. All right, so the last one to talk about now is the rentals. Now the rentals is pretty simple, I think, all right? Whenever you go here, you pay 200 yen, then, for each thing that you wish to purchase costs an additional two yen, but it also is going to take up one of your licensed spots. Again, if you wish uh, to purchase one of these or multiple, you have to make room, freely giving up whatever it is that you had there previously until you have a spot. There are two types of rentals. There are freezers and there are carts. Freezers have two uses. So a freezer, whenever you have a freezer over here, and let's say I had all of this stuff priced like that, right? And I really don't want my stuff to go bad and degrade. So when it becomes my turn next turn, normally this stuff would drop to the degraded side. Well, for every time you use a freezer, it will drop and it prevents, uh, it prevents one turn um, all of your fish to stop from degrading for one turn. So that would go here. Once it is used another time, it then gets set back into the rental. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. The last thing 
that happens is carts are worth two actions, all right? These can be, uh, only be used to enter markets. So if you have these, you can then be, basically you're buying extra actions to be able to enter markets that would normally you, so you have two actions. If I had one of these guys, I then have four actions on a given turn, or maybe I just choose to use one of them. Once you've used them all, they come back out here. And there we go. So we continue moving around in turn order until one of us reaches a minimum of 5,000 yen or 50 resource points, and they do not have the least of whatever one they don't have at that threshold. That triggers the end of the game. We then go in turn, uh, everybody else takes one more action, and then we go into final scoring. Now, final scoring comes with one little catch. The player who has the highest resource value once the end of the game gets a thousand dollar or a thousand yen from the bank. Whoever has the lowest resource value pays 500 yen to the bank. Whoever has the most, they, you cash out all your resources. Whoever has the most uh, cash on hand then between your resources and cash, once you've cashed everything out, is the winner of the game. Two last things that I need to talk about. Takoyaki, if it's here in your marketplace, is worth nothing at the end of the game. If it's worth here, over here, once you bought it from somebody else, then it's worth 500 apiece. And the last thing I need to mention is overfishing. If at any point all of a market's barrels are off of their tile or all of the resource pieces are off of their market tile, that is now considered overfished and not sustainable. What happens at that point is all the barrels are removed from the board. So it can never be fished again. Now, if you have existing resources of those, those can be sold, et cetera, et cetera, or, or, or whatever. However, that can never be fished again. And what's going to happen at that point is another market is going to come into play if that ever happens, and that'll be random between the ones that are out of the game. And that, folks, is how you play Tokyo Tsukiji Market. I so I want to get a clarification on the eel here. Um, did anybody else? So... Yeah, I just wanted a clarification on the octopus after. Okay, go for it. Go um, with you. Did the takoyaki count as overfishing pieces? My guess is no. Yeah, I think they don't, Greg. Yeah, I, I, I do not believe so. Um, so, Jordan, if you would just get us a clarification on the eel. By the way, the eel can never drop below 1 or go above 13 as well. So while I reset this, Jordan, if you would give me a clarification on the eel. So what I'm understanding is technically a catch means when it comes into port is when this bumps up 1. And is it 1 per barrel then or is it 1 per time that the ship comes into port? That's the only thing that I wasn't clear on. So there's 15. So I suppose you guys want me to give the takoyaki back. Yeah, Edward, you like, may have mentioned this. But I'm sorry if I if I missed it, but did you mention the rule about when other players go to a market, everyone else who has that license gets 100 yen? I did not. Good call. So <laughs> let's say I go to the macro market. We all start with one macro license. Whether you have one macro license or you have four macro licenses, you uh, license I, whatever, you will get 100 yen from the bank for that player going to that market. Thank you. I did not mention that. All right. So let's see. We got there. There's that. There's that. You don't get those. Had it all nice and neat. Now I butchered it. <laughs> all right. 2,000. Nope, you're short. 2,000. There, there. Everybody has boat in. Nope. There. That comes back out here. And that's it. One. Okay. Do I have everything set back up how it should nope. be? No. There's too many licenses out. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I was hoping, hoping you would have noticed that. <laughs> I would be okay if they did not. I don't mind keeping an extra 600 uh, yen worth of uh, octopus. 
All right. I will say, for how small these pieces are, they're like remarkably clear. I was worried about seeing them on the screen, and it's perfectly clear. Okay, so Jordan, yeah. here, to be clear, Jordan says uh, the takoyaki do not uh, count for octopus. It's only the octopus for pieces for overfishing. Also, eel moves up one per barrel when the barrel is put up for sale. Got it. Okay. Oh, and also, even the player entering the market can also get the 100 yen bonus per license. So it's per license. Apparently, we played that wrong. So I misspoke. So if you have four macro licenses, let's say Greg has four. Somebody, whether it's Greg or someone else, goes there. He's going to get 400 yen from the bank. Is that correct? Oh, well. That's better than what we play with. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we play. We definitely played the uh, the heavy cardboard version, as yeah. we are wont to do. All right, cool. Let me bring up my camera. Uh, I will bring up the chat. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, the market stays out. Everything else stays out as well. You can interact with the market still. Right. You can also still bar sell barrels. Right. Yeah. I, I think I mentioned that. Okay. Cool. Good. All right. Oh. Uh, Kushagra asks, uh, after overfishing, do license slots get cleared? I would say it doesn't matter because even though you can't, let's say octopus gets overfished because you can always buy more license and just replace the octopus. So it's your, it's a pro, uh, pro uh, solution in search of a problem. So. And uh, Goose and Tony, no, this isn't Bantha milk. It's got coffee in it. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I had a plan on what I was going to do for multi for uh, for uh, first player, but I failed. So you know what? We're gonna schwazzy it up. Uh, I I got this. Don't worry. All right. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> One, hold on. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Lost Greg. There we go. There you go. All right, so Mike is first player, defending champ, by the way, for those scoring at home. It is true. It is. So we're just going to go ahead and put this bad boy right here to re remind us he was the first player. There we go. Um, so place your bets over under on Glory to Rome's um, and Sparkles with Mike here on chat. Uh, so I, I, I will set the over-under on Glory to Rome's with this group at four and a half and uh, place your bets. So there we go. Okay. All right, I will, ready to go? Yeah. All right, I'll spend the 400 to go to the salmon uh, market. Okay. First action and buy a salmon license, so another four. All right, so that's a total of 800. And you're buying a salmon license. Yeah. So 400 to enter the market, 400 for a single license. And then I will put my boat to uh, from the harbor to the open seas. Okay, so step two. one. Now, keep in mind, his first action actually wasn't an action. So right. action one, went to sea. Action two is fish for salmon. All right, so you can do so. So we will go ahead, boom. And done. And we will move that onto that there. Okay? Yep. That's my turn. Okay. Um, so first verse, second verse, same as the first. I'm going to spend $400 to go to the salmon market and spend another 400 on a salmon license. Okay, so there and that'll... So, I mean, by the way... It you copy the reigning champ. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. So, uh, by the way, these are 1,000 yen, 500 yen, and 100 yen, and it doesn't matter the sides. It's just what sides of the coin. So, just FYI. All right, please continue. Uh, send my little boat out to sea. All right. And um, this is where it differs up. I'm going to buy the other little boat for 500 yen. All right, so going here for one action, that will cost 500 yen since it's the small boat. So there, that's two, and there, and buying another boat. He has a slot in which to be able to do so, so that is legit, done. All right, so just for the record, if I'd gone first, I was going to uh, 
pay for my harbor to come off, buy another boat, and get two salmon licenses. That was my plan. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> but now I'm not going to do that. Let's think super quickly. Oh, yeah. I should get $100, Jordan says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, because he went to uh, the salmon market. So that is true. And that is the easiest thing to forget is whenever somebody goes to a market um, that you should get paid. Yeah, honestly, I should have spent another 400 to get uh, another salmon license. You should have, yep. I think so. Um, if you want, you can. Ariel hasn't acted yet. Let's do it. All right. So oh, man. <laughs> there. Oh, and thanks for playing, Ariel. Nice of you to show up. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a credit in Greg's win if that's how it goes down. A footnote in Greg's triumph. That's right. All right. Um... I'm going to go to the spider crab market and get a spider crab license. Spider crab? For 800 Spider crab does what... Uh, that's going to get old, I realize, but it, it every time. Because spider pig, right? From The Simpsons? So, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and was then... One I'm going to uh, bring my boat out of, out of port. There we go. So, you guys at home, every well, literally all of you guys, including the players, uh, can you see everything? Everything clear for you guys? Um, yeah, that, I will say all of the pieces, like I, it, like most of these aren't even choking hazards uh, because they're too small. Like, there's, I, I'm not kidding. Why I'm using these for the takoyaki? Like, like size comparison. Okay, I mean. So, yeah, it's, it, it, this is pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Uh, all right. Um, you would think, since I've had this set up now for a while, and I would have all this planned out. Nope. Uh, however. Hmm. That's kind of tempting. Um... Two or three. What I'm debating is whether or not to get a size two or a size three ship right now. Um, now obviously, I have to make room. I understand. But I think we're going to go a size two ship. So I'm going to spend 500 and open this bad boy up to give myself some room. And remember, even if I wanted to buy this one or open this one first, you have to open the one first, right? So that is 500. That's not an action. That's free. So my first action will then be able to spend 1,000 yen, and I will go ahead and grab a size 2 ship. And... Huh. The last action... Let me fix that. Um... Jonathan, the barge is strong. I had the barge last game. It's pretty good. But as a turn one, barge, one it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't right? know. It'd be fun to try. Um, I think. Oh, you know what? Here we go. So as my, I will spend two hundred yen. To go to the octopus market, so 200 or two actions or a takoyaki, right? And I will go ahead and purchase an octopus. And as my second action now, because that only costs cash, those bad boys will go out to sea. Feeny. All right. I will um, bring my salmon call back into harbor. All right. So that releases that salmon license for another ship or whatever. But what are you going to set the price at, sir? Um, well, Greg's committed to salmon, so there's potentially going to be two more on the market pretty soon. It's also... The aquarium sale is 
good on this. Oh, I did not pay my 300, by the way. Sorry. There. Okay. Yep. Let, let's do 400. All right. 400 it is. So there. That was one action. Right. Um... For my second action, let's uh, uh, so if I take a fishing action, can I pay to clear out my harbor and put my boat out to sea? Yes, because this is okay. not an action, it's just cash. Right, okay, so let's do that. Put the okay. boat back out and clear up. Uh, there we go. Greg? All right. Um, I'm going to do one fishing action with both my boats. So that's get a salmon with one and put the other one out to sea. Okay. So that so fishing, that's for that boat. And then for this boat, it is to come to sea. Got it? Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to do another fishing action. Put the first one out. Or, sorry, put the first one back to the harbor and get another salmon. I assumed. So yeah. each boat gets to take an individual action. And yeah, real quick, uh, Ariel has spider crab, not octopus. So there we go. All right. And, and what would you uh, like to price it at, sir? Let's price it at 300. 300 it is. Hey, it's a race to the bottom. Rude. I like this. <laughs> so that's both your Sounds actions. Like some... Ariel. All right. Funky salmon. So. I'm just going to note something quickly to Edward, that the salmon market is only as good as you and I choose to make it. I, I so, am aware, sir. That being said, I'm going to uh, go to the ship market, spend $1,000 for a two-size ship. Okay. So a destroyer. <laughs> so 1000 leaves you 200 Okay. Yep, and then um, I'm also going, my second action is going to be fishing. So my my boat that's out at sea will become a mackerel boat and get a mackerel. Oh, sorry. So mackerel that will go, boat. by the way, I should have done that. Just to, It's something we realized when we were playing last time, that it just makes it easier so you know what license is tied to what ship. But, yeah. And then my new boat will go out to sea. There we go. Okay. All right, so I have no money. So uh, you know what I like to do here in that case? Um, I would love to be able to buy some of the salmon, but uh, alas, I cannot. So I think what I will do is action one, I will fish. Now, note, I cannot both fish octopus. So <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. Hey, you guys don't have any money. Nope, we're going to go the other way. All right, so I will fish for a mackerel, and I will fish for an octopus. And for my second action, I will go ahead and come back into port, and that'll just just be worth just a hundred. That's all, just a little hundred. And I will fish for another octopus for that one. Done. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, thank you, Jordan. Ah. I'm irritated. I forgot to mention that. Whenever you bring multiple, uh, you have a ship. Uh, for every two barrels you bring back, you get an extra hundred um, into your pocket from the from the bank as well. So when this comes in, that'll get that'll pay me a hundred for that. Yep, right here. It shows that on your actual harbor. So there you go. All right, Mike. Yep. So. For my first action, I'll buy Greg's salmon. All right. Uh, the, well, first off, that degrades. Yeah, that degrades. Okay. okay. Yep. Sorry. Then you're going to buy that salmon for 300 So this 300 will come over to Greg. 
this will turn into a salmon. It is a fresh salmon, I would like to point out. And congratulations, you are the proud owner of a fresh salmon, sir. Yeah, and then to adjust my price, I have I have to take a fish action, right? You are correct, sir. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Let's put another salmon on my boat, and um, I will adjust my price to two hundred. All right. And note, there is exactly one salmon left to be able to, one barrel of salmon available. Okay. All right, Greg. All right, my first action is going to be to buy that salmon. For uh, 200 For 200 So that comes back. That is a degraded salmon, so that's just straight up four. Yep. There we go. That's 200 Mike. Oh, yeah, that, dear, thanks. There's a lot of work here doing all this for you guys. You guys are just like loafing around over here. Just if only you me... were an octopus and had eight hands. Seriously, it. right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, and we're going to swap um, boats. Swap boats, yeah. So that will come out to sea, and then this will come back out. And what are you going to price that at, good sir? Um, we'll be able to buy it. I think Ariel's too busy setting up his market to pay for it, and you don't have any money. So I, I, I would like to point out that when you guys are buying, you could have bought this as well. You know that, right? Like, Actually, you, could, you know what? You're right. Yeah, just saying. Throw in 100 bucks your way. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, whoa. Why do you, why this do you is the second this? assist Greg's gotten this game. Because I forgot to <laughs> mention. I, I forgot, Mike. That's why. Okay? That's why. <laughs> He, he would have pimped it out if he remembered at the time, too. Oh, I assure you, because ain't, ain't no proud. All right, so there you go. You got a macro. Craig needs all the help he can get anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Especially when it comes to the auction, I overbid uh... double what it's worth. Um, yeah, let's set it back at 300. Let's see if that works out. All right, done. So, yeah, right, the, the, the amazing thing about this is uh, how tiny everything is. And so, I, I mean, I'm somewhat joking with the tweezers, but for the takoyaki and the eel, it legitimately helps. Um, but you're talking a two-foot foot, footprint, right? Maybe two and a half feet right here, wide there. And it's about, a, like, 16 inches at most, maybe 14 inches high. So it's got a tiny little footprint here, plus the bank off camera, but... All right, Ariel. All right, so I'll fish first. Uh, so my boat that's out will get a crab bucket. All right, so one spider crab, spider crab. And, and I assume this is coming in. my other boat will go home. Yep, I'll price that at uh, 100 bucks. 100 yen, all right. 100 yen. Then I have $200, huh? 200 yen, you do. I can't really do very much with that. So I think I will fish again. So I'll take a second uh, a second crab, and then I'll come out with my other boat. There we go. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and fish for my first action. So that comes in. That gives me 100 because that is two barrels right there. So 100 from the bank there. And octopus are worth three resources each. And this is worth a ton of money. Um, so I think, I mean, I realize you guys are a little bit tight on money, but I mean, I think 400 is reasonable because it should be worth 1500 each. Since they're five resources a piece, 300, that makes sense. Um, so that way I get a little bit money out of that. And we only have 200. Money is tight right now. Hmm. I wish I had 300, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if I had 400, I would actually go to the market and purchase both of those. But if wishes were fishes, uh, I guess we're gonna fish. I guess so. So 
that will be an octopus there. And then this guy will go ahead and come out. Done. And yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to give it a thumb. Certainly appreciate it. Okay. All right, I'll spend 200 on a cart. Uh, 200 on a cart? It's actually 200 400. to go to the market. Yes. And 200 to buy the cart. Correct. All right. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's try it out. Okay. All right. So coming over here and buying a cart, which will buy extra actions, and that was 400 total. Sir? And then for the... So when I use a cart, do I, do I get two extra actions or I get... If I use one, it flips to the other side of one, and then I can use that one later. Uh, yeah, it's you your choice. You in that it's either or. So okay. let me just double check, make so sure. I could either take like a whole turn or a half a turn. Yes. All right. There you go. That. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. And it's only for entering markets, though. Okay. Can't be for purchasing, and can't be for fishing actions. Keep that in mind. It's only to go into these. Okay, that's perfect. So I'll use my entire cart to uh, sell my salmon for 700 to the aquarium. Okay, so that is two actions, which that is there. And then uh, your salmon here, which yeah. technically was worth two resources, okay, because there are two salmon yeah. out in play. But as it is, the salmon will go there, and that is now worth 700. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll now I'll take my main two actions because I haven't used any actions yet, right? Yeah, I mean that's tempting. I think your price is a little too high. Um, so let's bring my salmon boat back in for one action. Price set at three hundred. And then put my boat back out. <sighs> yeah, you might as well. well. We'll just we'll use this area here. Okay. Yeah, All the, right. the, uh, the peanut gallery got it right. You know, there's there is a spider crab auction coming up. And there is. That is so. true. Yep. I mean, only if I choose to fish again. I mean, that's fine. If you want to keep that boat out and see the whole game, by all means. <laughs> well, he probably wants to wait until he can make more money, so, I mean, just saying. Alright, so, my assignment degrades. It does. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Mike Salmon. For 300 Okay, so 300. there, and that was fresh salmon. That's a fresh fish. Worth two, and these three will then come over here, the rich get richer. Okay. Um, and I'm going to fish again. Okay. So the, I assume that's going there, and then this will go there? Yep. Okay. All right. Are you changing the price of your degraded fish? I think I am. I'm going to change it to 200. Yep. That's what I figured you were going to do, sir. Okay. And now your mackerel degrades. And have a good night, Daniel, and welcome, Chip. All right. All right, so I'll, I'll buy that salmon, the degraded salmon, for 200 Okay, so this will come over there. Make sure, yep, you guys can see that. That will go there. That is degraded, so that is a four-value salmon. Um, let's see, I have very little money. Yeah, I think we may have overspent a bit um, early on, or at least some of us. This was poor on my part. And 
And can you only at the auction? You can only auction resources, so like fish. Yep. Yes. Um. I guess I'll fish for mackerel with my little dinghy. Okay, so that will go there for a mackerel. And what are you doing? Anything with your that's spider it. crab? Okay, that's nope. hanging out. All right. Mine degrade. When you know they become... Oh, God. You guys are terrible. <laughs> uh, all right. 200 apiece, I guess. Then oh, I will fish. You... Oh, no, no, you're fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Hmm. You know what? Let's bite the bullet. God, I hate that so much. Uh, and then now that that is released, this will go back into the octopus for fishing. So that was one one action. Um, I guess we fish again. There. And there. That's ugly. All right, Mike. Um... Hmm. So is all this making sense? Well, Mike uh, thinks everybody at home, y'all following along, all this making sense? Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I explained the eel right. The only difference was the catch defines you caught it when it comes into the harbor. So that's the only difference. Right, I think we just spent so much money on the salmon that... Uh, eel's not possible right now. Yeah. I think that's interesting. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's so... Yeah, like Jordan said, it's going to be a slow burn because we overspent a bit on the front end. So, that's all right. All right, Mike. So, I'll spend uh, another 400 for a card. And then I'll buy two of your... Um, Octopus for another 400. Okay, so uh, which two? Um, the fresh one and one of the other ones. We have words for people like you. <laughs> hey, I only like the finest, freshest octopus. Yeah, I, I hear you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. All right. Uh, so that was one act. Uh, that was both actions right there. No, because I went to the i got a card check yes, that eight. that was one action because that one was a free action just cost money right so you have one yeah. action left plus your cards yeah so now i'll use my cart to sell an octopus to the aquarium for 700 okay so yeah i am totally not doing well here so you're using your second action no i'm using my card oh to go to the aquarium right Dur. Yeah. so that's two uh, okay so you still have one action left oh uh, yeah Mistakes have been made, so that'll be 700. And then... And you have one action left, sir. Yeah. Then I'll pay 200 to go to the octopus market and trade that in for three of the... Uh, Takoyaki. So he's yep. spending 200 there. And then the turning... goes to you. Uh huh. You got a hundred. Uh, yes, I do. Thank you. There, because I have an octopus uh, license. So he turned in the octopus, and he's going to get three takoyaki. And what are you going to price those at, sir? Uh, I will price them. Uh, and you guys are broke, huh? Yep. Yep. But it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's permanent. Yeah, they so. last forever. Yeah. All right. So let's start with the. Uh, 
And can I ever adjust my prices up or is it only down? No, oh, you can adjust, adjust. Whenever you take a fishing action, you can adjust prices. Um, yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's set them at 400 for now. All of them? Yeah. Okay. So 400 for all three of these. And these never degrade, remember, guys, at home. All right. And I still have one action yep. left for that. Um, let's just fish with my boat for a salmon. Okay. So that will go there. And there. Done. Greg. All right, um, so I'm going to go to the auction, and I can only go to the two auction because I have 200. Um, so I'm going to actually put up my fresh salmon for sale. Okay, so, so to explain this, so it's one action to go there. Going here, that's going to be 200. The fresh salmon is currently worth one, two, three resources. And it's a once around. Starting so with the aerial. aquarium doesn't count for that? Say again? No, the aquarium does not count for that. Okay. okay. I, didn't, I didn't know if it was all salmon out on the board. It, no, not in out. the markets, which I, that is technically one of the markets. Yep. So, Player owned. Right. So aerial, I, I elects the pass. Okay. Good yeah. choice. Good choice. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I know what I think it's worth. So I'll think out loud here. I think it's worth 300. However, I'm willing to spend 400 for it. So I will go for 400. Pass. Okay. So that 400 goes to Greg. And then he gets another 400 from the bank subsidized. So there we go. So he made 800 on that fish. And now I have a fresh salmon. And I'm now going to spend, um, <clears throat> yep, 200 on the octopus. Okay, thank you. So that goes there, 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 and I get and that. 100 on a mackerel. Yep. There, there, and there um i'm gonna keep the 500 though i was i was thinking about the takiyaki but those will be there yep they they uh they don't go away <laughs> yeah. all right um, ariel but i could nah i'll keep it i'm good I'm okay good. i'm gonna bring my crabs into uh port all right so we have some spider crab Spider crab. So this turns into one spider crab, remember? So now we dig into the bag, bag, bag of oh, oh. mystery, mystery, mystery. And, well, apparently that's the one that wanted to go because the other one grabbed a string on <laughs> the bag and held in. <laughs> All right, Careful. there we go. Not bad. So the auction is for a six spider crab. If you take it to... The market, it is worth a thousand yen. Uh, this is a blind bid, remember? And it's thematic, it's missing one of its legs, um, but that will regenerate, all right? So everybody, including Ariel, can bid for this. <laughs> Ariel might win. I'm just saying. Uh, I am ready when you guys are. Ready. Yep. All right. And, yep, shocker. Uh, 600 looks like is going to be the winning bid from Mike. So that 600 goes to Ariel. The spider crab, spider crab goes over to oh, Mike. Ariel does have an extra 100 bucks. Why? Because he brought in two barrels at once. Thank you. He did. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yep. All right. Now, that was one action. Um, my next action, I'm going to... Hmm, what's for sale? 
Soon to be uh, octopus. The, the takoyaki are 400 each. They are. Kind of yeah. crazy. And there's nothing else for sale. Um, I'll go to the eel market and buy an eel license. For 500 Okay. So there, and there is an eel market. And nobody already has a license, so therefore nobody gets their 100 and Jordan, just to be clear, you said it's a hundred per license. So if somebody were to go to the salmon market, Greg would get two hundred, or would he get a hundred for that? Just clarification. All right, that was both your actions, correct, sir? Yes. All right. All right. So I will, for my first magic trick. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't. Just short of being able to do that. Shoot. Um. All right. We will fish first and foremost. So that will come in. Those are going to be, are they 300 a piece? It's three resources. Jordan confirmed it's 100 per license. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then this guy will fish there. So that's action number one. Edward, did you get your 100 for bringing in two barrels? I did now, thank you. <laughs> Nope, not yet. Um, man. I think I'm just going to fish. So that'll come out. This will come in. Uh, yeah, done. There you go, Mike. All right. Uh, first action will be fish, so I'll bring my salmon in. I'll price that at 400 You sure? Uh, hold on, sorry. So there's only, was it two fresh? Uh, no, fish. it's the number. It they're they're currently one fresh. That's it. Because the okay. fresh fish is currently swimming in the aquarium. But the price, it doesn't matter whether people have fish that are. It does not. Fresh so not. this fresh currently is worth 300 because one, two, three. And then once this sells, it'll actually have a four resource value. I see. Okay. okay. Yeah, so let's do 300 and let's right. adjust the price of my other stuff, which I can never remember what they're called to 300. Takoyaki. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. That's so one Greg action. Greg was thinking of uh, putting his for three hundred, so now I'm going to force him to sell him for basically nothing. <laughs> uh, okay. So that was one action. Um, second action, I'll just sell my spider crab for a thousand. All right. So going to the spider crab market. So gets a hundred over here for the license, and then this gets sold, so that's going to be 600 plus 400, that's just the cool thousand. This then immediately goes back into spider crab, spider crab, bag. There we go. Okay. Greg. All right. Um, I'm going to do something we didn't do last game. I'm going to enter the mackerel market and sell my two mackerel for 100. Okay. All right, so everybody gets 100, including himself. So you get one, you get, I feel like Oprah, you get 100 yen, you get 100 yen, you, okay. 
So then these two macro, because remember, any barrel or macro combination of two things gets you a hundred yen. So there's that. That's one action, good sir. And my second action is going to be to buy the salmon for 300 and one of your octopus for another 300. I hate you. I wanted that salmon so bad. I, all right. Everyone wants this. <laughs> uh, all right. So there. And then one of these, you said, for 300 yep. each. So, I'll take the freshest one. Okay. So there. So you get 200 back. And then the 300 comes here. So you got a salmon. A salmon chanted evening. So that's a fresh one. And an octopi done. Correct? Correct? All right. Ariel. All right. Um, hmm, that was a clever trick, Greg. <laughs> but I can't, I can't replicate it without spending way too much. Mm. That's why I did that. So I'll take one of those, uh, the Takiyaki for Mike for 300. Okay, so talk it now, now that he has bought it from the market, now it will come out here and now it is straight up five resource points, okay? So that goes there for 300. And I'm just gonna color you up here a little bit. And Jordan was, asked, oh, okay, it. Greg replied. <laughs> yeah, sorry. There we go. So now you're colored up, Mike. Okay. Uh, then I'm, I'm going to fish, yeah, so my, my boats will switch. Okay, so, macro, uh, so he's coming out to sea, and she is coming in with macro, and how much? Uh, let's go 200. Whew. You want that to get stale, don't you? All right. <laughs> um, No, I'm, I'm just not going to uh, I'm not going to lower the price. Um, if I take a, I, I have to take a fishing action to lower it, but that degrades automatically. But yeah, no, y'all, y'all are not, I'm, not, I'm just not. Um, <laughs> it's a principle of it at this point. Yeah. So you know what? Um, here, you can have 400 yen, sir. Sorry, I will keep 400 yen. You will get 600 yen. I like that better. And I will take two takoyaki. There we go. So I want to remind everybody watching at home that, remember, at the end of the game, or once we have triggered the end of the game, and at the end of the game before we go into final scoring, whoever has the most resource value gets 1,000 from the bank. Whoever has the least resource value pays 500 to the bank and that's you know that's 10 points five points respectively so keep that in mind okay um hmm. man i have so much i want to do right now uh this is I, i'm I'm shocked at how cheap the octopus, uh, you guys are ignoring it, but I digress. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not ignoring it. <laughs> uh, you guys don't have enough money, or else I would go to the auction. Uh, I got plenty of money. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess we're going to fish. So that will come out to sea, and that will go for an octopus. Done. All right. Um, And another option while Mike's thinking uh, for everybody at home, if you prefer, even though there's that dreaded hidden trackable, you can play with hidden money if you wish. Um, and then it becomes a, hey, you need to make sure you're checking 
uh, to make sure if you have hit the threshold for the in-game trigger. But it's entirely up to the players to agree before the game, either open money or close money. All right? Yeah, it's uh, impossible good. for this situation, unfortunately. And yes, Christopher, whoever finishes dead last in this game does have to buy everybody else sushi once uh, social distancing is <laughs> over. That was implied, yes. I will get a three-pip boat for, for 1500 for my first action. Okay, so there's 1500 and that is a three-spot, and he has a spot for it currently open, so good. And then I'll get a uh, $500 um, eel license for my second action. Uh, 500 eel license, you said? Yep, so I'll go to the eel market and buy a license for eels. So that's 100 to Ariel, and you get yep. 500 back. And I suppose you would like an, a license to go with that, sir? Yeah, that would be pretty good. All right, cool. That's my turn. I'm just going to run and refill my water. So yep, you're good. Go. Greg, uh, I would like to remind you there is some delicious octopus on sale currently. And I'd like to remind you that $100 is not $300. Not yet. But you do have an auction. Uh, which I can't do because I don't have the minimum $200. That's huh. true. You don't have enough money. Well, yeah. there's that. Uh, so I'm just going to do what uh, I have to, which is bring the salmon home. All right. And or price that for 200 300 All right. I tried. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the other one's going to fish a salmon. All right, a salmon chanted evening. And for my second action, I'm going to yep, do the same thing. Okay, switch places. Yeah. So bring them, bring them home, bring them out, put the salmon out for. Um, you know what? I don't. But you're about to tell me. For, first come, first serve. So let's put the that one at um, two hundred. Ariel, octopus, uh, potentially worth 1500 I think that's going to that's gonna take some work to make that octopus worth 1500 oh, um, uh, Your mackerel degrades to start. Yeah, it does. Thank you. That's true. I guess $200 was more than uh, anyone wanted to spend on mackerel. Are you I surprised? I <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I feel like I'm making Greg more money than me if I buy a salmon. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to fish twice. <clears throat> no, I'm going to fish twice. Those <clears throat> octopus, that takes too much work. I got to like cut up the octopus, make it into little balls. That's hard. So I'll fish, I'll take my, my double boat will go on the crab license, get a crab. Okay, so there, spider crab, there, okay. And then my other uh, fishing action, my, oh, my boat comes out. Right. So my other fishing action, I'll get another crab and put an eel on my little boat. All right, done. Wow, you leave that's that mackerel at 200? Yep. Uh, that's a good point. I'll put the mackerel at 100. Okay. Thank you. Wow. I can't believe I'm I just lost this two octopus. I'm not on the floor, but I am sitting cross-legged. I'm on my couch. <laughs> I can't sit on the floor anymore. I'm too old. Well, I'm taking that salmon for sure. Which one? The 300 one, right? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> clearly. Don't do it, man. <laughs> You're just making Greg money. You know what? I'm okay with this. Um... And I can't believe you people let that octopus die. I hate you all. Uh, <laughs> the volatile market. <laughs> uh, I will. God, Best in mackerel. I, I need. I am so. You know what? While I bought that, I will have here. Go ahead. Salvage your mackerel to be a team player. It's all I do. Yeah, I do it for you, sir. So 
So that was it? That was your... No, that was one action because I bought from both of them. Oh, right, right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm a fish because I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker fish, dare I say. Done. Mike? Yeah. I mean, that salmon is tempting, but, you know, Ariel's right. It's just giving Greg more money. It's giving you more points, which you don't have. Yeah, but gives everybody else more points. Yeah. Salmon's not in my best interest points. anymore, really, from an ownership perspective. I'm happy to sell it. So let's do a double fish so both boats go out and then so. salmon on the one pip. And that, so that's one action there. Second action is, because remember, it's one salmon per boat. And, yeah, and then I assume, eel for my other boat. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Greg? All right. Well, the salmon degrades. It does. Hey, just to be clear, I... I was a team player. I did help you out there, Greg. It's all okay. about helping you. Okay. You made an attempt. I can't deny. If I had, hey, if I had more, I would have bought the other. If I had an extra hundred, I would have bought the other. Uh, I'm gonna put my fresh salmon into the auction. Ah, okay. The fresh salmon will go into the auction. It is currently worth one, two, three, four, five. So that has to go here which is all 300 into the bank. Well. Uh, that's a fresh salmon, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. That's not, that's not going to win it for you, Edward. Well, I, you yeah. never know. You never it, know. It means you guys have to bid. This is not oh, a oh, hidden box, right? Huh? It goes to me first, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, it, it, it is not hidden. I'm just trying to make make a joke. Okay. I'll, I'll bid 100 bucks. I hate you so much. Wow. You're, you're really going to let him get that for 200 Really? Yeah, I don't... It's fine. Oh, my God. I don't God. want him to spend all his money. Oh. Why don't you want him to spend all his money? Wow. <laughs> I pass. I can't believe I could... Oh. Terrible, Ariel. He did that last game with in the with the eel and it really helped me. So I appreciate it. Mike's my I hope friend. You got the check I mailed you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so two hundred. Yeah, I'll take it for two hundred. Yeah, I bet you will. So there's two hundred from Mike. Two hundred subsidy, and you get yourself a fresh fish. Wow. All right. I'm gonna go fishing again. Wow. Okay, so I assume it goes there, and this will come out, I assume. Yep. Okay. All right, Ariel. Oh, uh, um, change, the, change the salmon price to 200. Okay. I'm going to fish. So when, when my crab boat comes in, the crab auction is instantaneous. As right? soon so as it hits port. In the middle. Correct. All right, so... I'm going to fish. I'll bring my crab boat in. All right. So this comes in. So we'll dump those. That gets me $100. It does because you had two barrels on there. So you get 100 yen. And here we go. Spider crab. Spider crab. There we go. Another six. This one's secret. <laughs> how, how do ties work? Because I feel like we have like a three-way tie situation going here. Uh, oh, no. Hold on, choose. Greg. Hold on. Uh, uh, Ariel chooses if it's tied. Okay. So he's obviously going to choose himself. Well, not necessarily, because he he gets money. Keep that in mind. You pay him unless he wins, then he pays the bank. He's gonna then turn around and sell it for a thousand. I uh, look. I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be smart. I'm just saying it's okay. not an obvious. All right. Well, I have my bid. Ariel. Okay. All right. Let's see it. 
400, 500, what, uh, Ariel, 500? 500. All right, so 500 between these two, who's it going to be? Uh, you or Mike? I could have a th I could have 500. I'll, um, Mike can have it. So that goes there, that goes there. Then I'm going to buy my second port away for 500. Okay, so that goes away and that goes away. And then my eel's going to come in as part of my first fishing action. Yep, checks out, right? Yeah. Okay. And the eel goes up to two. Uh, let's see. So you had the... Uh, yeah, no, no, no. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay. Now eel is worth two resource points. Okay. And what are you pricing that at, sir? I'm going to put the eel out for three. 300 for a two resource value fish. Okay. Two resources for now. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll, I'll fish again, bring my boats out. Okay. Huh. All right. Broke, broke, broke. It's very austere right now. Um, wow. No, Dapper, that's the that's the auction. That's not the crab sale. Two different kinds of auctions. Hmm. Wow. I really wanted to do the auction, but A, I don't have enough, and plus B, you guys don't have enough to make it worth my while, even if I did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're running pretty lean in the economy right now. Yeah, it's well, super maybe austere. Maybe somebody didn't bet $100 on auction. <clears throat> I think that worked out fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this isn't a co-op? What does Mike have? Does he just have that fresh fish and the thick crab? You are correct, yeah. sir. Yeah. Okay. And no money. I couldn't tell if there was anything underneath. That is action one. Wow. I feel like I'm over a barrel right now. Um, you have the best uh, resource value of all of us. Clearly, but I'm broke because uh, you guys, yeah, so I will go fish again. I'm done. Just the lowly fisherman. Um. All right, I'll take the thousand for the crab. Ariel gets a hundred. All right, so action. here, going to the market, so that's a hundred to Ariel, and a thousand back into the bag. There, because it's six hundred plus the four hundred. Okay. Then I'll fish. So bring my salmon in. I just assume. Yeah, that's right. Um, so let's see. What do we got? They're worth five now. Fresh, fresh are worth five. That'll be six. It's two. Four hundred on the fresh salmon. And why don't you come purchase some stuff and maybe I can return the favor? Uh, that was my two actions, though. That Plan better. Greg? Uh, well, my salmon dies. Oh. I would have. I promise. Oh, no, I know. I'm, it's not on you. Oh, it's they're, so gross. Exactly two you people, people are stable. terrible at this game. So. <laughs> um, I, I think the smartest move here is to buy the eel before Mike does and make it worth my while. All right, so you're buying three hundred. Really? I... Yeah, it's a it's about to jump up in price. So gross. So this goes, and you will get an eel, sir. There and then uh, fishing, fishing, fishing. All 
Uh, fish, sorry, I apologize. So I assume that is coming in, and you're going to set it for some ridiculous number, and that will become a salmon, and that will go there. And what number would you like to set it at, sir? Um, let's see. Ariel can afford to buy from both of us at 400. So I see no reason not to... I don't want to undersell myself, but I don't want to over price it either. I think 400 is a fair price. All right. I think, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to. Be. What do I get 100 for? I, I don't know. I, I did get the 100 when the crab got sold. Right. Yeah. So let's see. You sold and then you bought some stuff. Or what did you do for your second action, Mike? I fished. Right, and then so I brought in my salmon boat. Right, so I don't get. Yeah, then, I don't. I don't think uh, I get. You're supposed to get a hundred when you brought in two octopus. Yeah, that was it. Oh, oh, I would have bought your salmon if I would have realized that. You're Do better you... off not getting that salmon. It was a degraded salmon. It no, it only helps his salmon that he has. Oh, that's has. true, because his other ones get an extra. Do you guys yeah. mind if I roll that back just because I forgot had I gotten the hundred I would have bought in that? No. I mean, no, I won't. A Never little mind. bit. <laughs> I won't. All right. I, I, I honestly don't care. I'm just here to have a good time. No. Nope. That's, that's fine. You can do that if you want, Edward. All right. So these guys wouldn't have come out to sea. So instead, this two hundred would have gone here. And I would have gotten a non-fresh fish there. That's all. That's it. That's it. There you go. Right, so, but, well, but by, but by my count, Ariel and I are guaranteed at least 1.5 mulligans each at this point. Deal. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair. I think that hurt you, Edward, because now I'm not going to buy your octopus. Okay. Because I'm better off buying the salmon, I think. They're both yes. fresh salmon. So I'll just buy those two salmon for 400 apiece. All right. So there and there. So one, two, three, four. Oop, bring that down a little. There we go. And one, two, three, four. There. And you get two fresh salmon. Okay. So that was one action. Yep, and then I'll I'll fish. The you could boat you wheel. could buy the mackerel. I'm just saying. While you're That's there. true. I'll take the mackerel. I mean, why not? Efficiency of actions, right? Again, I'm just yep. trying to help you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, team player. So I uh, like those little There we go. The mackerel. I don't know how well it comes. I can't see it that well on the screen, but they're like super shiny. They're very cute. Yeah, um, I, I mean, because mackerel are right. So yeah, no, it, yeah. it it works. For, it's the only it's the only um, metallic. Uh, paint used. Everything else is all matte. So yeah, it's yeah. So I'll um, and then I'll fish. So the the big boat goes is the crab boat, and the little boat is the eel boat. Okay, so you said the right. The big one's going to be the crab. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. So we have crab, and we have eel, and that was your second action, sir. Correct. Yeah. That's all right. right. Okay, so now those degrades. Same stuff degrades. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, yeah. A quick reminder that if either the barrels or the fish go away, it's overfished. Remember, and uh, the barrels then go away. You can't fish for it anymore. Keep that in mind. Okay. So. Um. So we will go out to sea. That is action one. And you want to change your prices at all when you do that? Uh no. And I guess we'll fish. It'll be a mackerel and an octopus. Done, Mike. All right. Um, are they? Yeah, I guess the eel are a little, a little metallic as well. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. 
Ah, it's splatter paint on top. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm really lagging in the points here. Everyone else is like, like last game, everyone was worried about making money. In this game, everyone's worried about making Well, points. when you remember that it's a thousand dollar bonus or a thousand yen bonus right. when you have the most resources, that, that becomes a big deal. Sure does. No, Stuart, you cannot sell a license back. So Joe in chat was the impetus for us doing this tonight. And the, uh, he also works for Panda. So he would know the, uh, the type of paint and everything that's on here and everything. So it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. So I'll just do a... I'll do a double fish action. So I'll catch a uh, eel. eel. I'll put my other... Yeah. So there's one action there. Action number two is this is going to come in. And which right. one? Um, let's I'm keep just going with salmon. Salmon? Okay. Yeah. All right. So these eel, what would you like to price them at, good sir? Consider I'm the only one with money. Uh, Edward has 100 yen. Cool. Yeah, I suppose I had to bring that back. Uh, my money's been on this side, so yeah, that makes sense. So I got 100 bonus for bringing in the three barrels, right? You do? Checks out? Yes, sir. Um, and those, the price of the eel go to five. Yes, thank you. Yeah. One, two, three, because he just brought three in. Good call. Yep. All right, so they're... Currently worth five each. Let's do them for uh, let's do one for three hundred and two for four hundred. Say that again, I'm sorry. One at three and two at four. Okay. And that was both actions, correct? Yep. Greg, you're buying all of this stuff here? Start here. Uh, I can only afford uh, so much, but I decided that I'd like to buy two eel. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is sell my first eel for 500. So you're going to the market? Mm -hmm. Okay, so going to the market, so everybody that has an eel license gets 100. So one here and one here. Going to the eel market, so you're going to sell this eel currently for 500 so you get 500 and yep. because you went to the market to sell it it drops two okay uh and then i'm <laughs> going to well let's see now i can afford uh-huh uh a lot how much <clears throat> can i afford right now uh, oh i don't think i can afford all that because that's 400 12. 800 1100 uh 1300 1600 and i currently have how much you say well, if you were to get two octopus and two eel, that's 1,200, which is exactly what you have. That gets you four I'd things rather, as opposed to three. I think I'd rather have three eel. Okay. So that's 1,100. Yeah. So Mike, the rich one. Uh, you know what? You make a strong argument there. It's the only thing I can do. I'll take the two octopus and the two uh, eel. So that's, hold on. So that, I'll just put them here. There, it's five and seven, respectively. So uh, that's seven there. And five here. Okay, and so now you get two octopus. So there and there, almost overfished. And two eel will be there. Done. Yep, right? those are actions. All right, Ariel. Uh, yeah, Joe, I dropped the price of the eel because I 
would get more things by doing that. Yeah, I think that made sense. Um, Feel free to to go when you're ready, Ariel. But I was going to yeah. uh, I was going to show folks uh, some of the others, even though we might actually see them come out anyways due to overfishing. Um, but here we have the uh, the tuna. Okay, there. We've never played with the tuna thus far, yet. Although the uh, the salmon, it's the salmon, right? No, uh, spider crab. Sorry, that's somewhat similar. We have the, uh, the red snapper ones, which the red snapper, like I said, feel free to interrupt when you're ready. Yeah, right. yeah, so I'm, I'm good. I'm going to go to the auction house. Um, I'll auction off uh, my degraded salmon and the takanaki. Oh, I don't have enough money to do that. You do I'm not. You're 100 back. short. Oh, you're I'm, Yeah, more than 100 short. Yeah, you're three, 200 short. I don't do that at all. Yeah. I'll, um, well, I'm sure you might want to do that, but you cannot do that. I would like to. And the fugu, so puffer fish, uh, my favorite. Still, we have not played with them either. Yeah, I'm assuming once you take your two actions, your turn's over. You can't then like take the free action spot. Like you can't buy extra actions after you've taken your two. You know, I that's not. Let me, uh, Jordan's here. We'll, we'll clarify. So to be, to, to make sure that I'm clear. So if you were to say fish, then fish as two actions, you then cannot go or do something that gets you money. And then as a free action, if you will go like here to be able to purchase something is what you're asking. Right. Right. I, my, my, my gut says no, because probably not. as soon as your second action is done, you're done. If you did this in between, or one of these that just cost money, I would argue that you could do that, but I don't think you could do that. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting buying your mackerel. I wish I had an extra hundred bucks. So I'll wait for an answer for that, and then Squid. I'll be ready to go. Okay. Um, I assume I'm right, but... Uh, I guess I'll, I'll fish, assuming I... Yeah, I have to take it before, so I'll, I'll fish. Okay. All right, so a fish, well, uh, are you coming? Uh, yeah, what are you doing? I don't want to assume. Um, so the, I'll, the crab boat gets a crab. Okay. And then I'll, I'll bring the other guy in. Okay, so that is one action. That is an eel. So the eel goes up to 400. And what would you like to set that at, good sir? 300 yen. 300 yen it is. All right, that's one action. Um, and then, uh, I don't like doing this, but I, I'm just going to fish again and bring my, um, bring my crabs in. Okay. So spider crabs, you get a hundred for that. Hence why you asked that question, I assume. And spider crab. That one. Oh, okay. That one jumped out. <laughs> 600 it is wow like you've been you've been pretty crabs. fortunate on that consistent crab fisher yeah, seriously right crab. yeah uh so remember this is a once around correct uh this is a, a hidden no this i'm sorry yeah they're brain cramp okay um okay yeah um i'm ready Big fat stinker. Okay. I'm ready. A moment. Okay, ready? Up, uh, all right. That's all the money I have. That okay. I like not to bid. Okay, good choice. All right, so it's between me and Mike, 600 apiece. Uh, that's interesting. Mike has a lot of money, and you have a lot of resource value. Um, you know, my six crab, you're currently at, like, 
Uh, that's that, that's a thousand yen is what it is to me. Yeah. I don't. I think having competition is healthy. I'll, I'll sell it to <laughs> Edward. Okay. So there's 600 to you. And I get a crab. That was your second action, correct, sir? It was, yep. All right. Well, here. You actually get an extra 100. Because. No, you did? No. I just got a oh, oh it's, now it's your turn. Got it. <laughs> so action one is get a thousand. There we go. <sighs> All right. So now that that's by two eels. So, yep. So action number two is to buy two eels. So that is going to be. Uh, so let me get my five. There we go. So that is going to be four hundred to you, sir. And that is 300 to you. Yeah. Uh, so that was, I'm sorry, four and three is, yeah, that's my money. Okay, so there and there. Excuse me while I eel over. Done. Color this up as well. Three, yeah. four, five. And I had like kind of kind of buying for resources. That's that was me with cash. I'm, I'm about to make that better for you. Well, it's not going to get back to me. Ariel's got a bunch of money now too. He's probably going to be shopping for some resources. He might be going for that barge. I mean, he seemed to like the barge last time. I feel like we're a little late for the barge. I don't know. The barge is good, yeah. though. Note that um, there will be plenty to spare by the time my turn is done. Big words, Greg. <laughs> there, there will be plenty of resources to go around. Oh, you're hitting that auction? And some auctioning happening. Mm, yeah. Nope, can't auction. He's well, broke. He has no money. That's true. Yep. Um, curious. Uh, yeah, you have no money at all, so I'm curious to see what Greg's going to do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. My oh, I mean, are... I know exactly what I'm going to do. You... There we go. But I don't think sharing it uh, at this affects point your turn at all. All right. So Mike. Yeah. Um. Have a good one, Depper Fox. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, let me know. I'm curious. I, I yeah, let me hear uh, let me hear your feedback. Give it a thumb if you guys are enjoying the show. Subscribe if you're not already. Support the show over on PledgeHC.com. Certainly would appreciate it, y'all. All right, so I'll fish. Put my big boat out. Bring my small boat in with the salmon. And 300. Uh, got 300. Get out of here. Go, uh, go big for that one. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be worth nine. That's going to be 700 for that. No, uh, oh, because, yeah, nine, you're right. So 700. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I'll spend 400 to get. Um, Yeah, so I still have one more action, right? Uh huh. So yeah, I'll spend four hundred to get the cart. Okay. So. Oh, it's expecting the freezer. So four hundred. Drop that to six. Okay. Um. I will fish. Again, for my second normal action, so I'll take a salmon on. No, I need a salmon on the big boat, unfortunately. What? Uh, why? Oh, you know what? I can't do what I wanted to do. Never mind. I'll put the. I'll take my four hundred back. I think the small one's. Yeah. And you can get rid of the cart. 
Okay, you have one I was action. Gonna try and, I was going to try and push her over fish, but I guess it's going to trigger when I sell that next fish anyway. So. Well, when yeah. somebody does, yeah. Right. And you'd rather someone buy that fish than... Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I will, I'll spend 400 for the freezer. Um, so I still have one more action. Not really much else to do. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just fish for eel with that boat that's out at sea then. I assume this is going to come out then. Yeah, mine as well. All right, Greg. Okay, I'm going to go to the octopus market. Hey, I, I, I like this there okay and i'm gonna get rid of two full-bodied octopi or six takoyaki and what are you uh, and i'm going to at? price all of them at 400 uh let's put hold on i don't want to screw everything up so how much do you have ariel you have 1200 yeah, yeah, you can still buy both the salmon and the takoyaki. Plus, he's got the freezer for in case you don't buy it. All right. That's one action. Um, you get 100 bucks, Edward. I got it. Okay. I think my second action... No, I'm not going to get rid of them all. They're still worth three points to me right now. Um... Oh, no, that's my full action. That's that's one whole turn. What do you mean? What if you, you didn't spend oh, money, it, that's correct. It takes two actions to go to the octopus market. Yeah. Oh, it does. Correct. We usually spend 200 yen, but... Fair point. You're right. It's two actions, so you're done. Uh, I'll be honest. Like, I'm surprised you didn't undercut with the salmon. I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked. I thought you were setting Mike up for that. I, I did, too. Oh. No, 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 because I got to get rid of all this uh, takoyaki and this is the best way to sell as much of it as I can alright Ariel oh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so that'd be net 200 then I'd have 27, 31 36, 37 and one of those guys 42 not bad Um, I don't want Edward to get it, so I, I'm going to buy that salmon for 700 and I'll also take, uh, oh, we, the, well, you could make some money and then get it. I'm going to buy that for 700 and I'll buy a takoyaki for 400 Okay. And now we're officially overfished now. Yeah, we right? are. I'm, I'm getting there. Again, two hands, not an octopus. Yeah, got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, so there's that. All right, so salmon is now overfished. So what that means is all these barrels are going to go away into here, out of the game, there. Now, you can still interact with the market. Does that include my barrel on my ship? No, it stays on there. Gone. But you can't sell it. All right. So, so it's just going to die. Yeah. You have to probably bring it back into the port, though, and then there are all these, like, dead, unedible Yeah, now, actually, now, uh, let me do it. This is the first time we've encountered this, so let's, let's see. Uh, let's see. Aim barrels are out, get returned to the box when they would normally be returned to the market. Okay? So, basically, it just... When you it comes in, it goes out. So now, uh, peanut gallery, I need you guys to pick a number, one through four. Pick a number, one through four. And when we get the first two numbers that match, that's what we will, uh, that's what we will uh, choose. So we get a new market. 
Oh, Joe. Um, <laughs> no, Ariel has 42 points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 10. So here. These are fresh. And that's a four. These are fresh. And that's a four, because I realize it's easy to see in person, but it's probably a little hard to see the white on the pink there. You can so kind of see the go. circle, at least on my screen. All right, so what me. do we got? We got three is the first one, and I will stop now. So the third one is we have squid. Uh, right. I'll be honest. The salmon essentially is dead. There's, or, no, you know what? Hold on. We can just throw it right there. All right. Anyway. So salmon, or I'm sorry, why, they're black. They're not pink. I, uh. All right. So squid. Uh, there we go. Uh, they're worth zero resources, but they can be sold back to the squid market for 600 yen each. Okay. And to get into it, it's either a squid or two actions. So easy enough. Okay. So let me grab the squidlies out. Well, that seems rough for to show up late game. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like. Uh, well, actually, we do need money. We do. All right, so it is number of players, so it's going to be four license, and then P times two, which is eight, to a maximum of seven. So we're going to put out seven of these guys. Three, four, five, six. And I just dropped one, seven. And there will be a total of eight squidlies. And there we go. Okay. So right, there were zero resources. Oops, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, zero resources, but a hundred or 600 yen whenever you go there. And the license are 300 apiece. Okay, sorry. Please continue. That's an interesting one. So early game, those licenses are going to get you lots of hundred dollars when people go in to sell their squid. Um, yeah. I will. The second one, I'll fish. So my my little ship will take an eel, and then my big ship will come out. Okay. So there. So everybody I'm at home. dumb for mismanaging the carts, but I will. Say again. Oh, I just feel like I should have been using carts in this game. They seem super strong, and I haven't done it once. Yep, I feel you there. I felt strong early, but then I just made a bunch of money, and I have no points to show for it, so I didn't play it right, I guess. Well, I might could hook you up. Might be interesting. Huh. You can easily get some points right now on your turn. Hey, don't you worry, Greg. <laughs> I'll have uh, on some Tamagotchis, let me tell you. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. I, I, I need to math. Uh, what am I currently at? Somebody did this. I think Joe did it. I'm at like 40. 41 or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, Eel's not up to five yet. No, we haven't come in. No. It, uh, so here we go. This is going to be kind of fun for me, I think. I think. We'll see if this is a terrible idea or not. But what I'm going to do is, step one, I'm going to go to the Eel market. So you get 100, and you get 100 from the bank. And I'm going to take these two Eels and sell them. One, two, three, and bottoms out. That's 800 for Greg. Wait, what? So here's your 800, sir. Why do I get 800? Because I'm buying two of those takoyaki. Oh, geez. I'm not paying attention. Uh... So that is 20, 25, and then each of those, that's 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is twenty-five. There's nine. Thirty-five, forty-five. There's nine, Edward. Nine, three, six, nine. Oh yeah. So one's in the aquarium. Okay. You're, you're right, at forty-three. Yeah. Okay. Um. And I crashed the eel market, which makes me happy. Uh, and we still have 400. Hmm. Hmm. I'm debating whether to fish or go to the auction, I guess. Um, uh, now that, uh, yeah, me and Mike both have a lot of money and not as much points as we'd like. Yep. Yep, I am in the market for some points, so. <laughs> and you are in the market for some money. That is a statement of fact. Um, the question is what? Give me a joke. Okay. So hold on. If I were to do that. Oh, hold on. That's how that should be there. I think so. Well, Mike desperately wants to get that. So, am I cutting off my nose to spite my face is the question. Nope, I'm not going to. I am going to fish. So, I will go there. And that will come in. And... That might be worth it to somebody for that. Done. That's it. Well, that was boring. Sorry. Oh, you already took two <laughs> actions. Wait, did I? I sold yeah, the sold eel in our boat. Oh, bought. I did. Oh, hell. Thank you. I'm trying to cheat. We could have saved some time there, guys. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, next turn will be exciting. All right, go ahead, Mike. Sorry. Thank you, so, Scott. Good catch. Does my freezer flip because it's been in my... No, it's when you use it. It's when you there. use it, yeah. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game, by the way. Yes. Yeah, it's, this is great. Yeah. It really, it's great. Uh Uh, let's see. All right, well, I know I'm going to buy Greg's uh, Takayaki. All of them? One of them? Two of them? What? I think all of them. So do I have 3,100? Is that six single? Uh, checks out. Yeah, that's yep. what it looks like. Okay, I didn't it, know if there's any like just below that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm trying to keep it all on screen. Yep. Greg has 1,200. Uh, checks out. You'll you'll double my income, but you'll be that much closer to winning. Uh, and the point value. I'm just gonna buy. I'm just gonna buy two. Two of them. That's eight hundred. Buy by me. I ain't worried. No, I mean that. Yeah, Ariel doesn't really have the money to buy one right now. Edward would have to spend all his money, which maybe he will do, but maybe he won't. I don't know. And it keeps kind of some balance between you and I, Greg, for finances. No, yeah, okay. no. It's it's the right choice, um, but I still get money, so I'm not upset. 
Yep. Okay. Uh, so that was one action. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Depends on which markets are out there. Like the, we'll, we'll talk about this at the end. Uh, re, remind me of that, uh, Kushagra. And Mike, your second action. Yeah. Oh, there's an. Uh, there was an eel on the three boat. Oh. Was it that? Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let's, um, I'll spend 400 for a card to replace my salmon license, but then I'll immediately use the card to go to the squid market and get a squid license for another 300. Okay. All right, Greg. All right, that's... all right. Um, how many eel licenses are left? Uh, that'd be two, sir. Okay, I'm going to. Ooh. Thousand. Yeah. Yeah, I can afford it from the outset, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to buy two eel licenses. Hundred for you, hundred for you. Two eel licenses. So let's just place a salmon. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to spend 400 to buy a double cart, but don't bother handing it to me. I'll use it to replace the, uh, I guess, the mackerel license. Okay. Is I can't replace the salmon license because it's still technically in use. You are correct, sir. Um, so I should have done this first, but whatever. Okay. And I'm going to go to the aquarium with one of my eels for 600. And the eel goes there, so 600 for you, sir. Okay. Because that took two actions, because of the aquarium, which is the cart. You are done, right? Oh, no, no. My second action oh, is to sorry. go fishing. Uh, spend 500 to get rid of one of the ports. Okay, and this guy will come out there. Yep. Okay. And um, I should be, that 1,000 should be gone. Oh, yeah, I didn't take it for the for the licenses. Yep, thank yep. you. Okay, appreciate it. Hmm. Thanks for being honest, Greg. Hey, Vince. I kind of wish you had that thousand still. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Someone would have caught it, and it would have been a mess later. All right, Ariel. Well, I'm gonna do this anyway. Uh, it's annoying. I'll I'll go to the auction market and put up a uh, fresh salmon. One fresh salmon for three hundred. Okay. Uh, and this one is hidden. Once around. Oh, once around, you're right. Uh, I'll go 400. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. This is it. You guys can't let Edward get it. Four. He has too many resources. No, no, he's not getting it for 400. I'm just trying to... And by the way, well, I the game wouldn't end because I, I would have no money, so... I'll go 700. Yeah, that's and yours. I was really excited, Greg, when you... I looked like you both had $1,700. <laughs> <laughs> and then... 
really got a bidding war going here. And then he mm-hmm. wasn't. But I, I honestly wouldn't have here we go. spent that much. It's that one. Yep. That was the wrong one, right? Yep. Yep, it was. All right. Just a second. Sorry. Right, no worries. Copy, paste uh, failed me a little. So, all right. There we go. Fix. All right. What is it? Sorry. Uh, then I'm going to go to the rental market and rent a cart. Okay. So a cart for 400 So that'll be all of those. And the cart. There. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my cart once to fish. Nope. It's only for uh, oh, visiting shoot. the market. Oh, going for the market. Oh, I forgot about that. Hold on a second then. I'm sorry. That would be too strong. That's less interest. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that then. Hold on a second. Have a good one, Jonathan. Sorry about that. Thanks for hanging out. You're fine. If you if you watched my 1862 streams and as many things as I backed up, I'm okay with that. <laughs> but you were by yourself. It's a little. I was, and it's <laughs> that's a hard game. I started watching some of that. It's a. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm doing this for four people, but at least I'm not having to go reach way over there and stuff, so it's not so bad. <laughs> hmm. The question is whether it's worthwhile at this point to go get a squid. I think that'd be the only reason. Um, it, it is if you think you can inject some money into the economy by doing yeah. so. So I might as well try. Yeah. I'll try. So I'll, I'll go to the squid market with those two actions and buy a squid license, and Mike gets 100 All right. Done. That's and then for my... Sorry. So no, that was my second action was, a, was not an action action. It was a money action. Okay. So I have one more action, and I'm going to... Now I'll fish. So the... What does the two-boat want? The, the two-boat will still go to the crab. Um, and the one boat will price that eel at two hundred. Um, and just thinking about I'm just thinking about one more thing. That would make me super broke. Uh, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now. So I'm trying to decide whether to buy another boat. I have exactly the right amount of money, but it's pretty late to be investing in my like fishing fleet. That's interesting. There's still, I mean, there's still a market for buying stuff. People still need resources. Mm-hmm. But squid resource, and yeah, and that, I'm gonna do it. I'll I'll spend the thousand and get another destroyer. <laughs> so that will go there, and that yeah. takes another. Yeah, and I back. think if I did that right before my fishing action, then I'd also get to bring my destroyer out to sea. Okay, all right. That's part of that fishing action. Oh. So the order in which you did that. Yeah, I did the order a little backwards. That's fine. So that, but that, that, that port was open. That's it fine. Been, that's fine. All right. So my turn. Uh, action number one is I'm going to. Put up that four salmon for 200. Mike. Is Mike muted? Uh, Mike is muted. I sure am muted. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Yep. 
I said, for those who can't tell at home, I'm busy selling my house at the same time we're playing this game. So my apologies. No excuses, Mike. Uh, no excuses. Yeah. So this is a just a four pointer. Yeah. Salmon. Um, Two hundred bucks. Hmm. Good. <laughs> I think that might be worth it. Uh, it sucks because I I need the money, so I don't know if I want to spend it. Seriously? So yeah, I'm gonna give him four points for for two hundred bucks. Wow, that backfired. Yeah, sort of like the other time I auctioned. <laughs> wow. All right. I so just I, get... I just want to say I have been uh, the two times we played this, I've really been making out in the auctions. Not going wow. Out. Yeah. All right. You people suck really, really bad. <laughs> it, it's funny. Not not a single glory to Rome yet. Yeah. Well, no. The last time we played this, we were cursing up a storm. <laughs> uh, all right. So I will go ahead and give you 200 and you 400. <laughs> Done. So does that put does that put you over the points cap, Edward? Uh, that'll be twenty five, and ten is thirty five, forty four, forty five, forty six. Currently. Forty six. Okay. Currently. That's the other reason uh, not to try and give Edward too much money. And is my points thirty two? Yep. Nine, eighteen. 18 and uh, 28, 28, 32, yes. Okay. And for those scoring at home, while we're, might as well do this, 10, 20, 30, 28, 29, 33, looks like. Yeah, I'm same as Mike plus a mackerel. Oh, yeah, I guess you are. Okay. And over here we have 3, 6, 10, 12. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, well, let's um, let's fish. So another eel and a squid. Okay. And then I will fish again and bring them both home. All right. So. Uh, so that goes there, and then that goes there. You get a hundred for bringing that in. Yeah. So the squid and the eels, sir. Yeah. So eel double jumps, right? To four. Yeah. Is it? It. Uh, it well, yeah. There you go. To four. Cool. All right. So let's do the eels for three hundred a piece, and let's do the squid for four hundred. Wow. Okay. All right. So that was uh, two fishing actions. You do have yep. your... Oh, that's a freezer. Never mind. Greg, you're up. Cool. I'll buy both the eels for 600 total. All right. So these go away. So you get two eels. And um, this is going to sound a little benign, but I'm just going to put one boat out. Not going to fish? Well, because next turn I'm going to fish them both, bring them back in, make more money that way. Okay. All right. Done. Ariel. All right. So I'm going to uh, fish. So my, my crab boat gets another crab. Um, my other two boat is going to go to the squid, get a squid. Uh, and then my little boat will come out. Um, then I'm going to fish again. I'll have um, 
how do I want to do this? I think I want to bring both those boats with fish on them in. Price that. Um, that's the squid. Yep. Three hundred. Okay, and here we go. Right away. Say again. He gets a hundred right away. I already got him. Oh, I didn't. I missed it. Thomas, it doesn't because it wasn't sold to the market. Exactly. Only when you go here and sell yield does that go. Four. Uh, I'm get, it's getting worse. My craft. <laughs> All right. Uh, Your crabs are getting worse, huh? I like to not take part in this auction. Bold move. Yeah. Um, All right, I'm ready. The blind. blind. I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. All right, let's see him. Oh, wait. Oh. All right, Mike. Okay, I didn't let's see anybody. 300, 400, and what's yours, Ariel? I can't read it. 300. It's three. Greg gets it for three. 400. So profit, 400. There, and... There we go. Okay. Oops, that is not a fresh. There we go. Uh, that was a double fish, correct? Uh, no, that was one fish. Okay. Oh, it was a double fish. You're right. You're right. All yeah. right. So action one. Hmm. Nope. Action one will be to fish. Because points are points. Um, yeah, action two is going to be to fish as well. Done. Don't forget your hundred bucks. Thank you. It's funny. I remember. I remember you guys' stuff, <laughs> but when it comes to my own. Uh, See, I'm selfless like that. So your your squid degrades unless you use your freezer. Uh, that's fine. That's um. Uh... I guess spend all that money on the freezer. Let's put it to use. Okay, so that keeps it from degrading. Okay, flash frozen. There yeah. is some. There, there's some high point octopus available. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the octopus. And is that a squid or an eel on Ariel's board? Uh, that is, that is that is a squid. squid. So it's cash only. So you want yeah. both of these, sir? Uh, yeah, I want both of those. For 600 okay. And I'll take the, the squid as well for three. Did you want the mackerel for 100 200 No, I have sorry. no use for, the, for one mackerel. It's a point, but okay. You said you want the squid as well? Uh, yep. Okay, and that was That's one action. Octopus. Yep. Um... Nope. All right. And then... Nope. Second action, I will just put both my boats at, out to sea. Okay. There and... Do you give the 300 to Ariel? I don't think so. It did not. Thank you. That one I made sure I got paid for, but yeah, my bad. Okay. <laughs> Greg? All right. Uh, I'd like to get two eel. Uh, for sh uh, fishing? Two eel and then bring them into port. That's my whole turn. Okay. And what do you? What would you like to price them at, sir? Um, I'm gonna set one at nine hundred. A moment. Uh, give me a second. I believe, even though at the same fishing action, yes, you do get a hundred, sir, for that. Even though they were on different boats, in the same action you came in. 
So say again. Sorry. Uh, one for nine hundred. I'm sorry. One for nine hundred. And one for. I'm gonna say five hundred. Okay. Then five hundred it is. That was bo That was one action. No fish. That was and then oh, yeah, that was both. Actions. All right, Ariel. I don't know why you priced that at nine hundred dollars. Because I don't want it, you to buy it. You succeeded in keeping me away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so the mackerel and the squid is six hundred. One, two, three, four, Correct. five, six. Perfect. Okay. So I will um, buy the mackerel and the squid. So 200 here and 400 there. One, two, oops, three, four, and one more. Make that five there. So you get a squid for your troubles there. And this, you get a mackerel for that. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to spend my other 400 on a cart. I can, you can take away the mackerel license. Okay. Then I'm going to use my cart to go to the aquarium and sell both the mackerel and the squid. I thought that might happen here. Uh, so a mackerel is 300. A one of the squids there is 600. He's got two mackerel. Yeah, two mackerel. Oh, I apologize. So that is half of them that can be sold. That is a total of 1,200. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I have one more action. My cart goes away. Uh, I have, how many points do I have? I now, I don't have, I have, um, 32 now. Yeah, that will get me in the to, chat. So Edward has 50. You have 50 exactly right now? Yep. Yeah. This will be the last, you, you, uh, this will be my last turn. Um, all right, but I have 32. Those eel, it's 1,500 bucks for both those eel. Uh, 1,400, sir. Still can't afford it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll buy the... The, the eel I can, the cheap eel. I have I have a non-expensive tasting eel. <laughs> <laughs> you get five hundred, sir. That's all my. I get five hundred. All right, you're done. Yeah. All right. Now here is why this triggers the end game. Okay. So I have twenty five in takoyaki. I have eighteen in salmon. So 25 and 18 is 43, 44, my squid is currently at six. So at the beginning of your turn, you check to see if anybody has 50 of that or 5,000 yen. If they do, whatever one they don't qualify for, so in this case, I don't have the 5,000 yen, I have 900. If I am last in money, we do not trigger the end of the game, but I have 900. 700, so I'm not lower, and 700. So therefore, this triggers the end of the game. What that means is I finish my turn, everybody else takes one more turn, and then we go into final scoring. Final scoring is simply cash out your stuff. Well, whoever has the most resources gets a thousand yen from the bank. Whoever has the fewest resources gets, uh, uh, pays 500, and then at that point, Cash everything out. Whoever has the most cash wins. All right. So now, now that I have triggered it, you know what's really interesting is what if I were to put something up for auction? Hmm. Hmm. So these are worth nine points. So give me a count on everybody's points real quick. Just do you guys know what you have? I have 40. Uh, 32. 
Mike? I think I have the salmon are nine each. You have for the fresh, right? Yeah. Yeah, thirty-eight. Yep. Hey, Ian. Huh. So if I were to put up one of these fresh fish, that should go for a crap ton of money. At least seven hundred, which is actually fourteen hundred, but it's worth nineteen hundred to me. So no, I guess not. All right. Uh, so. Okay, fishing doesn't make sense. So what does make sense? I have cash. I can buy that, but that, that doesn't make sense. But you know what does? I'm going to go to the eel market and sell this. So that gets me 600 and that drops it there. And hold on. 100, 200, 100. Okay, so that's action number one. Um, I got nothing to do with my second action, so I guess I'll fish. So, done. Um, Have a good night, Gusarino. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I, I don't know why, Greg, Greg, why'd you price that so high? Oh, I didn't realize it was going to end the game. Oh, okay. I was trying to pump out another round. Gotcha. Oh, trying to make sure that I can't buy it so that, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't realize just the act of bumping it up twice was enough for Edward to right. get enough yep. points to win. Yep. I can't really do much, man. I guess I can get 600 for my uh, squid. squid. Well, considering it's worth nothing, um, yeah, I think right. that's your... Well, that's I was debating, do I, you know, is, it, is there anything worth getting a cart for right so I spend 400 sell my squid for six make 200 there and then is there anything worth still having actions for in the markets but the answer to that is a resounding no I think so nope so, so the only potential thing just, is auctioning potentially right yeah well but, but it, the money's kind of tight right now it's like, probably not worth it it, it's only worth it if you sell your eel in such a way that, like, I'll buy them for sure, but... I don't, I don't even have an eel. He does not. No, 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 no. Uh, if you go fishing, so you use the uh, cart to go to well, the Well, and the other, just, I mean, since we're kind of, I mean, yes, it's competitive, but also trying to talk this out for everybody. Um, if he uses both actions to go here, as opposed to the squid market... He keeps a hundred. Uh, well, I guess it. Never mind. It's, it's moved. same price. It's same it's because moved. they both. Yeah. Never mind. Never well, mind. I, I would actually, I would actually get a hundred more for going to the squid market for my license. Well, he would yeah. too. Nope. Uh, Ariel would. Yeah, Ariel would. Yeah, yeah. These two would each get a hundred. Right. And he would get seven hundred uh, total. So yeah, whatever. Yeah. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I, just, I don't really think there's anything else. Very worthwhile. I mean, the auction is a fair point, but I'm probably oh, not going to. Oh, and one more point. thing: uh, you can go to the uh, the ship market and sell for your ships for ten percent. Uh, well, if that was the case, I didn't realize that. There's no reason. So, ten percent. So rounded down. So minimum hundred for the uh, little one. So yeah. So rounded up, so 10%, so that's 50, that's 100 for the little one, and 100, so that's 200 yen. Better than doing nothing. Yeah, that it is. All right, we're getting out of the fishing business, boys. Okay. Okay, so then I could get 
two hundred. I could get three hundred for my ships. Plus, I could get. You get a thousand total. Uh, Six uh, nine hundred, because then he wouldn't be able to go to the squid market. Fair point. He would not. Well, if I did the rental and got a card, you would lose money. That's crazy. You don't want to do that. Yeah, you'd lose money. How would I lose money? Because it costs four hundred for that, and you're only making three hundred off the ships. Yeah, but then I can sell my squid for seven hundred. So you would break even. You might as well just sell the squid. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So, go there. I assume. So, a hundred to you. Well, a hundred to you, and then six, seven hundred for you. Yeah. There, Greg, you're up. All right. Um. But I think the only thing left, because no matter what, I have the least amount of resources, so I'm going to have to pay... 500. 500. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tank uh, the eel market by selling yeah. all of my eels. Of course. It was so dumb of me to buy that eel for 500 bucks. So you're, buying, you're selling money. three eels for 1,200, yep. and that tanks that. So a moment. And I get an extra 200. You do. So 14, we'll call it uh, 2,000. And I'll take six back. Check that. I will take four back. Right? Shit. Sorry. Uh, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I'll take six back. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. A moment real quick. Uh, so you got your eel money. You did not get your eel money. So I'm just going to give you 1,000 for this 900 up here. Again, I'm just trying to make it easy at the end. And an eel here, so I'm just going to give you a 1,000 as well. Done. Okay. And uh, for my last action, I will sell my boats for uh, 200 yen. Uh, yeah. Because why not? Getting out of the fishing business as well, huh? Yep. Okay. All oh, right. Actually, no, hold on. Hold on. Go back. Go back. What? What? what I what, have what? the crab. I'll make more money selling the crab. Oh, go to the crab market. So 100 over here. And the crab is 4. Make that 800. Yeah. I got two. I need another yes. stick. Yep. Yep. All right, take Ariel, bring back. it home. Um, take two back from Greg. Oh, for the, the for the yeah for the boats that he did not sell, okay. Ariel. So uh, Mike has thirty eight points. Uh, eighteen. Okay, so I guess it is. And Greg has ten. Looks yep. like it. Yep. Uh, and I have like thirty one, thirty three. Okay. And 10. So I think I can make money going to the auction. Okay. Is what I'm thinking about. Because I'm not going to be last or first. Um... I think it's the most interesting option you can do. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll put um And how much cash do you guys you guys have a fair amount of cash. So I've, I'm gonna put out you have like three thousand. You have the most, but the Mike has a a fair amount. So I'm gonna put out nine points nine resource points worth to get the 300. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, hold on. I just gave you seven. Yeah, seven, 300. All right. Um, so, a recount. Just so, give me your numbers again. 
I got 38 and 2,000 bucks, I think, exactly. All right, so hold on. I want to make sure, since I'm first here. You said 38? Yeah. Okay. Greg? Uh, 10. Ariel? 22. That's it? Really? Oh, yeah, I guess. We're... Oh, because well, you I'm just putting put nine up for auction. Yeah, and then there is nine up for grab, right? And I have uh, 18, 19, call it 20, that's 45, 44? Huh. Well, this is an unfortunate position for me to be in. Huh. Okay. So let me think this through out loud, and I might not come to the right Wait. conclusion, but that's Mike, okay. how many do you have? 38. So I have so about 9, 18 for my two salmon, 28 for my two takayachis. Yeah, uh, takoyaki. Yeah, and then ten more. Yep. and then ten more for. So, so you getting this nine will put you over the head. It would. Yep. It will. Yeah. And if you got see, this nine, this similar to what I did on my last turn of the game last game. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I'm. I think I'm out though because I think. Yep. Uh, yeah. Nine doesn't fix it for you. Um, yep. I'm just gonna lose money. Oh, wow. So, okay. So I guess it becomes a math problem. So I get a thousand if I have the most. And I keep him from getting, the, uh, I don't know what the math is on this. <laughs> I... I think I know. I feel like this is the exact situation we were in yesterday, pretty much. Yeah. Or the other day. Um, no, because I actually have a chance to win this one, um, <laughs> as opposed to I did. I don't think I did last time. Uh, so let's see. If I just throwing out a number right now, this is not my bid yet. I'm just working my way through it here. If I bid a thousand. I lose a thousand dollars. I give Ariel two thousand, but it keeps. Ariel won't win off of that. He could just indulge me. Right. No, he wouldn't. Win. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But Mike would then get a thousand out of it. So I would actually. No, if if I bid a thousand, he wouldn't get a thousand, because I right. would. So I, I, it's a wash for me. Huh. <laughs> so it's a wash for me at 1,000. Okay, let's say I said 1,500. I lose 500, but I, keep, but, I, but I net 500 because then Mike doesn't get the 1,000. So I actually profit 500 off of that. However... That gives Ariel three thousand, which is uh, that's three thousand plus twenty two. That's fifty two. So fifty. Oh God, this is so hard. <laughs> fifteen, twenty nine, twenty nine, and I lose fifteen hundred, but I actually only lose five hundred. So oh God, I would lose if I did that. Okay, so I can't do that. Um, <laughs> screw it, nine hundred. Without, I, I give up. I, I, my brain hurts. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Um, it's worth at least a thousand, so I'll go a thousand. So here's the interesting thing. I think I decide the winner here. So Greg is in the exact same position I was in last time. Except, Edward, yeah. you can't win anymore. Uh, I either decide Ariel wins or Mike wins. Oh, no, I could, I could decide uh, you win by just saying 1,200, and you win anyway. Yeah. I think. But uh, that doesn't seem fun. So if I'm going to bid, I'm going to bid a lot. 
<laughs> Jordan says, Edward's in a very complex problem. I'm glad I'm in the chat, not sitting where he is. Yeah, <laughs> with, with, with running the streams and everything, that's just more than I'm willing to do. So, um, Yeah, you know what? I'm going to decide the winner because uh, I don't want Mike to feel like he earned a victory twice in a row. I'm, I'm that nice guy. <laughs> Hater's going to hate. 1600 to Ariel. Uh, well, he can't bid. So you're, bid you're bidding how much? 1,500. So six. Oh my God. Really? Did you just yeah. give him the win? Yes. I just said I, I get to decide who wins out of the three of you. Wow. That's gross. So there's yeah. that. All right. Grind so, off my uh, Christmas card list. <laughs> you? You? <laughs> wow. All right. That's I'm gross. not entirely sure that gives him the win, but. Why wouldn't you just bid 11? Because that wouldn't be funny. Really? I was what counting on Greg's uh, <laughs> crazy sense of humor to pull the game out for me. <laughs> I yeah, figure if you're gonna king make, you, you have to go for. Uh, no matter what, I'm picking the winner. So it didn't really matter so who I picked. It, it's interesting because now Greg is a footnote in your triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Where earlier we thought you were going to be a footnote in his. See, the lesson is you you help people out early and then they help you out late. <laughs> yeah. So technically, you shouldn't have bid more than eleven. So. A thousand of this shouldn't be here. I digress. So I have the most resources, so I get a thousand from the bank. Right? Yes. So I get a thousand. Greg loses 500 because he has the fewest resources. And then we cash everything out. So I'm at 25 and 18 is 43, 44. So 4,400. So I'll just add it up to that. Uh, so what do I got? 44, 4,400 and right? All 7,100, leader in the clubhouse. And uh, you have 38, 38. 39, I'm sorry, uh, 48, 5,800. Yeah. Greg, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right. So we have, what do you have in resources? You have 22? Yeah. 22, that's 42. That's 52, 57, 6,200. So I still win. Screw oh, no, you. Wait, how much, how much do I have in resources? I have 23. You said 22. Yeah, no, you, you, still... got you got more than that. You got more than that. Hold on. You have nine... 13, 23, 24. 24. So 24, 24, 44, 54, 59, 6,000, 6,400. Wow. I would have had to spend more to make him win. I still win. Did you give me 32 or you gave me 16? Huh? Did you give me 32 for that bid? Or did you give me 16? Yeah, I gave you 32, because sure 16 okay. here and then 16 there. So, Got it. Yeah. Because you only had, what, like 700, I think? Yeah, I didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Um, so, first, second, third, hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's go ahead uh so here, we'll start as I see it clockwise. Start with Mike. Uh, thoughts on the game in general, first off, or, or this specific game, et cetera. Um, yeah, so second play, um, I, I think Gold Times has been really great. I think it's real interesting the way the markets work, the, the way the players interact with each other in the markets, and the way you know your own market kind of can stall yourself out, right? You overprice and your stuff becomes unattractive. You're not making any money. Where in my case, I feel like I made too much money, but then there was nowhere to buy it because everything was drying up before it got back to me. Um, 
Yeah, and, and we played two games. We've used what five, I guess, six of the different fish. So there's still, a, a, you know, three other fish we haven't even used. Uh, two of them. Um, we haven't played with tuna, and we haven't played with fugu. Uh, we have played with the red oh, snapper, right. which starts out yep. valuable and becomes less valuable the more you fish it. So. Right. Yeah. So so much, uh, you know, variability you can have in this. I really like it. I think it's you know a great game. I think anyone on the stream who found it at all interesting should get it because there's a lot to explore um yeah i think it's great all right ariel so uh, this game is is fun it's a good game i i the the biggest issue that i have with it is it needs some sort of hidden element be it hidden money or like container some sort of uh like hidden multiplier card because this is the second game in a row where I sort of, I played okay, but was outplayed by somebody. And I had the last turn. So I had, you know, I was trying to do the best thing for myself in the last action. In this case, I, you know, tried to set up an auction to make myself money. And then it sets up this really hard math problem for everybody else. In the last game, I was heavy in the eel market. And it was actually a worse scenario where uh, I couldn't really win unless the only thing that it made sense for me to do was to price my eel super high. And then Edward, who was after me, in order for Mike, who was after him, to not have a ton of money in the eel, because Mike had like six or seven eel. Uh, so if Edward didn't buy my eel, Mike would win. And if Edward bought my eel and tanked it, I'd make enough money that I would win. And so Edward had no choice other than to decide who was going to win. Um, and, you know, it was the only logical thing for me to do, trying to win the game, but it turns into, you know, you have a fun game, and then it becomes a not fun situation, and you go home feeling bad instead of feeling like, oh, this is a fun <laughs> game. I, and I think it's a, you know, the way that games solve that problem is by making it not computationally possible to figure out what happens at the very end of the game in this type of game. And I think that's missing here. Um, I, I, yeah, I think money I, would help. That's what I was going to say. Like, both times we played with open money, so it makes it trivial to math out. I think with hidden money, there you kind of take that whole element out of it. So you can't really math it out. You just have to take a shot in the dark. Yeah, that that was definitely the problem both last time and this time. I feel like, I mean, I could have not done anything the last uh, round. I could have just sat back, but that's not fun. Uh, and you know, <laughs> I mean, we're just it's not winning. Greg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just saying there because you can math it out and you can see, oh, there's nothing I can do to prevent the win from happening. Uh, I might as well just not do anything isn't good. Um, and, and that would probably be my only complaint is that the game clips along at a pretty interesting pace. There's a lot of weird decisions of trying to psych each other out that I, I really like. Um, but then at the end, it's just who has more money, who has more resources. Cool. They, they win. Uh, if we do something like what Ariel did, with the auction, then it's just mathing out who wins more or less, um, which takes, it, it deflates the game uh, just a little bit. Yeah, the, I agree um, that, that the, the end uh, being, per I say perfectly mathable. I'm not smart enough to have figured that out and I didn't <laughs> want to go through all of that. Um, but a lot of the people that I'm able, that I'm fortunate enough to play with would. Um, so that's the, that's the only kind of bummer about this, but I think all of the dynamic markets and when you remove a market and sub in a different market, just one, you keeping all the others intact, the entire game just feel can completely change, right? The fact that the way this market interacts with that, and we're talking, there are three other fish markets, but there's also four other markets, one that have, or um, external markets. There's the barter one, there's government, where uh, basically uh, you're selling to charity. Um, there's loans, the bank with loans and shares. There is trading, which basically becomes, if you're early in, you can put out resources and get an influx of cash, but later on, somebody, once that spot's been taken, they only can trade 
the resources that are there for different resources. So that definitely is interesting. And then the use ships one where you can, you know, uh, sell your ships uh, uh, a lot better at 200 yen per slot there. So the auction, if you don't have the auction in play, then that problem goes away in a sense, right? Because you can't use that king making. I don't know, but I because oh, the, the problem is still the digital sure. market, right? So I, right. I feel like there's probably a way to figure out it. The pro the problem to me is it feels kind of like a trick. Like it's not like an H and XX where you could map everything out over the course of the whole game, but you've played a whole game, and that's kind of a game. Sure. Right? Here it feels like you've sort of come up with some trick to have like a little like math problem at the end. It just doesn't, doesn't feel good. And I feel like if I could do that with two different markets over two different games, there are probably ways to do it with a bunch of the markets. Um, just because it's sort of inherently a problem when you have open information and, and dynamic markets. And that's entirely fair. Like uh, it, we're talking specifically with the eel market because anything that you can manipulate like that, right? Anything that isn't stagnant, that is not already a, a not a sunk cost, but a, uh, uh, a set fixed. cost, yeah, a fixed cost. So I yeah. think, I don't know that all of them, but I agree with you, especially regarding if EEL's out there and the auction's out there, or either or is out there, there is manipulation that can happen that can cause that. And I agree. Like, I was the one that brought this up at the end of our last game, where I was like, the fact that Container has the scoring cards, because the direct comparison between this and Container is an absolute no-brainer. Now, I realize, unfortunately, none of you guys have played Container yet. <laughs> Boo on me for that. I'm sorry. Uh, I have, obviously. And this feels like, honestly, in a lot of ways, like a more interesting Container. However, the fact that this doesn't have that hidden scoring at the end, and in Container, there is a card at the end where... Uh, the containers are all worth a certain amount, and what might be valuable to me won't be valuable to you, might be middle of the road of, to them, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. So you can't ever know exactly where everyone is, uh, except by if they're telegraphing what's, what, re, what resources, essentially, what containers they're buying. And so without that hidden information, it does become a little bit of a... I guess a letdown for lack of, is a let is that an oversell? It's just um, that once the end game is triggered, there's a fizzle that kind of just happens where we all look at the board and go, "Oh, all right, well, I guess they, they win." So here's a question that I have for you guys. Then on that note, um, I have been a big uh, my brain's tired, so I can't think of the word, but I have kind of harped on Vital Lacerda that he has these soft endings nowadays to where, oh, somebody triggers it, and then we go one more round. What about that? What if we didn't? And it I was a like sudden end. I, huh? like I mean, Joe made a point in the chat that, you know, that's different conversation between, like, we've all had played twice versus being more experienced with the game, and maybe that does. Hey, it's fair, more, more fair point. I agree. Understands it. But my, my, like, first take after two plays it would be more fun if everyone didn't get an extra turn at the end. Because then you can't, it, it's, it's just harder to see it coming and harder to sort of be tricky at the end like that. Right. Right. Like I actually. I would like to play. Go ahead. I, I would like to play with hidden money and just see what that does to the game. I think, isn't that the suggested way to play? Yeah, and oh. again, if we played with hidden money, I, I think that problem goes away as well. Now, there, there, there yeah. are savants out there that can track how much money everyone, sure, hidden absolutely. trackable. I'm not that person, and I right. don't mind. I mean, I normally I would be a proponent for just having open money, but honestly, in this case, it solves that problem right there, I think. Um, so, yeah. But outside of that, yeah, it's fantastic. This is way better than I thought it was going to be, in a good way. Yeah. Because, oh, you know, oh, is it, a, you know, it's like, you know, I hear a lot of, uh, really big words used when it comes to, oh, this is amazing, this is fantastic, about games in general, 
right? About, oh, this is the next that or whatever. And I heard that about this and I was like, okay, I'll check it out, you know, whatever. But yeah, this surpassed my expectations. It really did. Um, even when you factor in the, 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 the last round aspect of it. But again, the hidden money takes care of that. But um, yeah, so what do you guys think about that aspect? Like, did this meet or exceed your expectations of the game? Uh, it, it definitely met them. Uh, exceeded them, actually. But that's because whenever I hear open market, um, I always get a little weary because I'm not good at them. As the two games will show. So that's yeah, you're it. not good at this one either, Greg. Hmm? <laughs> so you're not good at this one either. No. <laughs> No, but um, usually that that puts me off from liking them so much. But I, I actually enjoyed the in between stuff. I actually felt like I, I understood what I was doing a lot better uh, than I usually do. I think what works really well in this game is the theme. Like it helps yeah. you under it, it helps you understand what's happening, and and the mechanics aren't hard. But you know, it's like it's an economic game, so it's stuff to figure out. But the theme is is really fun. And it makes it easy to get into, and the you know the art is really well done. And I, I think the theme helps the game a lot. Yeah, I, I also think it's it's pretty clever, right? There is definitely some like cleverness and uh, some decision space where you can kind of pull those tricks, or you know, Greg, you said earlier, like get in your opponent's head or kind of play that that mind game. And I think it does that really well. Um, and I agree that I think the theme is nice. Uh, obviously, the, the presentation's great with the little fish meeples and, and that sort of stuff. It looks really cool on the table. Yeah, oh, I, I think the production on this is awesome. Um, tweezers help for some of the <laughs> smaller stuff. But for, as, I mean, this is one of those games that's a really big game in a really big box, or a really tiny box. I mean, you can see it over my shoulder. And yeah, for those asking, that image is actually off of BGG. The, the box itself is actually right. Just I realized that earlier too, but it is what it is. It's misspelled in the graphic, but it's right on the box. But um, yeah, I think, I think this is fantastic. This sur surpassed what I expected it to be. And I think it's turned into, uh, it, 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 it's worthy of the praise that I think it's been getting. So yeah. Um, so yeah, this was uh, this was fantastic. And uh, for those that are wondering, as far as scalability, now we've only played this with four, but um, let me let me show you guys this. I have it. Yeah, I have it here. I don't know how well it'll show here, but if you take a look right here, um, the player count and it, how it scales, right there. So the player count. The base markets, so macaron ships up for all of them. How many fish markets are out there? And then how many external markets are out there as well? Um, so it plays two to six. So there's that also. We haven't played it with anything other than uh, four, but yeah, I think it plays amazingly well. And it'd probably be a 90 minute game if we weren't streaming this. So. Yeah, yeah. and if you weren't yeah. moving all the pieces on your own. Yeah, if you guys were actually in person, that would that would make my life a whole lot easier as well. So, um, but yeah, and there's a uh, Jordan and I when he and I spoke this week uh, with the Kickstarter. There's some other stuff that is coming that uh, apparently I don't want to say solves the problem, but it, it 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 makes it to where that's not the case. The 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 negative side that we uh, that we were speaking of. So there's that, and let's see. Um, so let me see. There was one other question. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, how are the market dynamics for Greg, uh, asking Greg and I uh, regarding Coffee Roasters, the upcoming game from Capstone, from the designers of uh, Wildcatters? It's been a while since I've played that, so I'm having to, I've been trying to think about that. You have any thoughts, Greg? Um, yeah, I think the, the bigger difference is that there's a lot more. I mean, there there are euro aspects in coffee traders that make it so that manipulating the market is less about um, just knowing the economy and getting everything right, but action economy, um, making sure that you're doing enough stuff in the the time that you have to do it. Um, yeah, money I mean, is 
to me, this money, is a pure money. market game. It's yeah. pure economic game. So I, I, I don't know that it's the best comparison, honestly. Um, the obvious comparison is to container because you can absolutely see that container inspired this design. That's clear night and day. But, um, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they're different enough to I, I can make a case for having both. Um, I haven't played this enough to be able to say which I would prefer to play. Plus, I'm curious about the expansion How uh, for this that's coming up. Curious to see how that's going to change gameplay as well. So. I will say, too, uh, since Coffee Traders took up your whole table and this takes up your whole lap. There is that. That is a yeah. fair, that, that is a legitimate statement. Although, again, I think they're completely different games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. But, yeah, again, for the size of the box, um, that's it. That's the height, width, depth whatever all that all right so there we go all right so that was good stuff that was a lot of fun so um yeah that was that was good stuff we should do this again fellas <laughs> absolutely yeah so i got no, i got nowhere to be right now right seriously i mean just kidding <laughs> <laughs> all right so hey everybody watching at home uh definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this jordan thanks again for staying up late i know it's really late over in norway so thanks and thanks again for the review copy of the game i think it's fantastic i think you did a really great job um yes there are a ton of wooden components but you got to understand like that little tiny bag, that's all the fugu right there. So they're really, really small pieces, all right? Um, yeah, unfortunately, we, you guys didn't get a chance to see us use the barge this game, but uh, Ariel did that to great effect last game. So. I shouldn't have done turn one barge. I, I'm regretting it. That would have been fun. Yeah. Hey, there's <laughs> always next time, right? Yeah, so. That's right. All right, so if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumb, subscribe, support the show over on PledgeHC.com. Again, thanks to these guys that took the time out of their day a couple days ago to play this as well as tonight. So really appreciate that, fellas, and thanks to everybody watching this. I will be back... Uh, Thursday? Was it Thursday? All right, Thursday for Perseverance, Chapter 1, and then Friday, Perseverance, Chapter 2. So... Catch y'all then. Until then, and after then, I will remain Edward. I'm Mike. I'm Ariel. And Greg. All right. You guys have a great night. Take care. Continue social distancing. Wear your mask. Be kind to one another. All that stuff. Take care, y'all. <laughs>